to Max's house. Max's house, hashtag zero five. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to be back. And I'm joined, what should I say, royalty, legendary, godfather. If Wiley's the godfather, yeah, of what he does, this man here is the godfather of the London house scene. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for none other than Lee B3 Booth Edwards. Hey, 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 we're live inside. Come on. Yes, Max. Be free. Love the introduction. Love Come the introduction, on, brother. brother. Chat to me. <laughs> What's up? There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> There's a lot to talk There's about. There's a lot to talk about when I come to town, man. Seriously, it's, it's crazy. Man. But first, tell me, what was your first recollection of music in your household growing up? All of that stuff. My first recollection. Yeah. Or There's an actual, like, there's a picture of me. Like, when I go through the old albums... In my house, like there's a picture of me in um there's a picture of me lying on the floor and I'm lying on the floor and I've got a radio. Okay. A brown radio by yeah. my head. Okay. Like and like I just fit I just like it took me back to the times where I remembered like this is this is what I used to, I used to love that radio. Mm. And I used to always have it like, you know, on my shoulder, like just the little radio, you know what I mean? And lie down on the floor with it, yeah. always listening to music and stuff like that. So yeah, that's like kind of my first recollection of like music. Okay, and what what kind of sounds was were you feeling or were you hearing back then as you were growing up? Just pull your mic a little bit closer to you, bro. I'm just checking the sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, um, back then it was like you know that like electro pump like that. That was a little bit later to say when I was probably about seven. I don't know, it's like that, that like old school hip hop, like, mm -hmm. you know, and like obviously a lot of like the rare grooves and a lot of the dub music, you know, like my mum, my dad, like a lot of revival, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Conscious tunes. So like, that's like my early start, you know what I mean? My auntie and her boyfriend used to come around the house like all, every Friday, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I remember. And they, they used to play. Like they used to just play, like they used to have Sounds. a deck. Yeah, and then my dad used to have a 12 inch speaker. I remember he used to love this speaker, and I'm like, we had, yeah, we popped it in the end. Like, you know, just <laughs> pushing the round bit of the speaker, because you're young, isn't it? Like, yeah, you always be, oh no, you can't yeah. get out, trying to get, <laughs> get out. A, get the vacuum. Yeah, yeah, get the vacuum <laughs> and all of that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's like, yeah, the times I like, remember of music kind okay, of thing. Okay, now we fast forward, to. fast forward a little bit. Yeah. What was your first introduction to the rave, bro? Introduction to the rave. Well, uh, can I talk of names and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, man. Like name you drop want. and stuff. You well, can name drop. Not name drop because it's not nobody you will know. You can name drop. You can call out. You yeah. can <laughs> say anything you want about Don't anyone. Say that, you, know, you can I mean, say anything away. you want about I might, anyone. I might get carried away, man. <laughs> this, yeah. This um. Yeah, my um. Sorry, what's the question again? Man? So you got me. <laughs> your now. first in like when you, like your first introduction to the rave. My first introduction to the rave was um, basically. I was like going through a bit of a, like a turbulent time, mm. yeah, in my life, and um, like I just like that. Like, what happened now is like basically. I started to like I had kids and stuff like that mm. and obviously I, I I missed a bit of life so I wanted to live a little you know what I mean and I felt like I was kind of getting held back so we were, and, and I was in a bit of a turbulent time anyway basically mm -hmm. so then basically we used to go around to my friend's house Roger okay and then like Roger would always be like you know, like he'd be like playing music in his house. It'd just be one of them houses you go around to. You just, you just there. <laughs> so he just always be playing music and that. And then like he just start saying, yeah, 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 let's go out, like let's go out. You know what I mean? And it would be an abnormal times. Yeah. You know, like so. Say it was like, I don't know. Say we was at his house. Like we'd been rolling over from the night before. <laughs> so it's gonna be like twelve. One o'clock in the daytime. Yeah. So then um, it'd be like, yeah, let's go out, let's go out. And I'd be thinking, what's he doing? And he'd be making all these phone calls. What, what year are we talking now, Booth? This is like um, 2000 and 2005. Okay. Yeah, 2005. 
Right. Yeah, so this is 2005. So he'd be like, he'd just be like, get, he'd be like, oh, but see, you asked me the introduction into my life. Maybe I've answered the question. No, man. Just because, you're in, like, you're first. No, because I'm talking about my first experience of house music. See, that, okay. that's where I've gone. But were you going out before? You're doing the yeah, dance, what, like, yeah, 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 dance yeah, yeah. hall, I was, bashment? I was going out from, like, you know, house parties and stuff like that. So it was like, you know, like around my area, there was a lot of sounds. Okay. You know, like there was a lot of sounds. I can't remember all the sounds names now. Like, mm. sorry not to remember you guys, but you know, <laughs> it was such a long time ago. But there was a lot of house parties, a lot of sounds going around mm. them times there. So we used to go out and we used to go to places like Pegasus. Like okay. that's the chimes. It was in... Um, this was all reggae days and okay. stuff like that. But I knew that that wasn't my... You know, it wasn't my calling because yeah. then I used to go to the jungle raves when I was 15. Okay. So I was in telepathies and orange and Mad. roast and I was in all of these jungle fever. Okay. Like I was going to all of these raves. I was like 15. Like my sister, them days you didn't, you didn't need ID. You just had no. to look the part. Yeah. You know, I'd go there, I'd shave off my moustache, like even little moustache that <laughs> yeah, I had, I'd shave it off, <laughs> make it grow back a little stubble, go okay. to the door. You know what I mean? And yeah, so Jungle was my, like, I have to respect Jungle in that way because that's what I first mixed. Okay. That's what I first really? ever mixed. Yeah. I first ever mixed Jungle. Man. I used to go by the name of DJ Leafy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> it makes sense though. It makes yeah. sense. Leafy, yeah. So. <laughs> Do you know, I've, I've only recently discovered Jungle, man. I've been listening yeah. to a little bit of in the gym, but I like the older stuff. I don't like the newer stuff. Um, yeah, the older yeah. stuff, yeah, there's a couple of vinyl only mixes on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I don't know who's done them, but shout out them, man, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets like, me them gassed. days there, it was like if I can remember, like Shy Effects, yeah, and um, other, like Conga Natty, yeah. like that was a record label, yeah, you know, like I can't remember, like you know, it's just so long ago, you know what I mean? I was like 14, 15 at the time, but obviously, I was listening to like Cool FM, mm. I was listening to Weekend Rush, okay. and like I was going to Wax Club. You know what I mean? So I was proper embracing You're the jungle. It. So you yeah. were already about that culture of going out and partying. Yeah, yeah. But when yeah. did when did you first start hearing house? Right. So this is where yeah. So the, uh, this is where you go. Two thousand and four now. Okay. Yeah. So when we got to two thousand and four, it was like, how can I say it, man? It was like. Um, like, as I said, we go around to my mate Roger's house and um, we'd just be there, like, we'd just be chilling and we'd just be, like, you know, just going through the night, innit? Yeah, mm. as we do. He'd be, like, he's a me he, like, he, he loves messing about. So he'd say, oh, like, everyone, man, like, time to go and stuff like that. And then, like, <laughs> all of a sudden, now, he'd just jump up and just flick the radio full blast. <laughs> and then, bam, 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 and he'll be hitting out some tune. Yeah. That, like, you, like, it could be Oasis. It could be <laughs> any tune that he decides to flick on at that time and whack it out. Yeah. That, that's, that's what he would do. Okay. You know what I mean? And everyone, like, you just end up, like, vibes in. You yeah. know what I mean? Just to anything, like, it, like tunes that you wouldn't even think that you'd vibes to. Like, mm. he, he, like, one day, like, I was like, there was a tune and it was by the, um, what are they called? The something monkeys? Oh, uh, uh, the Arctic monkeys. Is it Arctic monkeys? Yeah, I think so. Or there's another one. Um, it might have been the Arctic monkeys or there's another one, but there was a tune, like, and I just didn't ever think that I would like this tune. Yeah. And he was playing it, playing it constantly. And you know, it just sticks in your when head. When you're in the setting, anything yeah, goes. Yeah, and when I get, went home, I'm looking for that tune now. <laughs> I want to blast that tune. I want to blast that tune now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he had the knack of doing that. So okay. with his musical influence, yeah. I would always kind of, if he said something was good, I would listen to okay. him, like, kind yeah. of like... If he had the would, ear to yeah, so you. Yeah, so when he was saying about parties, and plus... Like, I didn't even bring this into it. Like, from years ago, like, all the illegal squat parties and all of that. Mm. So all them illegal squat parties and all these parties that's going on now and stuff like that, yeah, I've been yeah. going to them parties for 15, 20 yeah. years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, like more than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? More than 20 years I've been going to them parties. Like, And obviously, Roger, Blues, these couple guys, mm. these was the guys that was showing me about these these kind of events. the scene and yeah, the events yeah, yeah. and like when you're going there you're hearing jungle and drum and bass side trance this wow. that like so it was all crazy yeah. within that music you know what I mean so yeah 
back to the 2005 thing. So then, anyway, so basically, we've ended up in um, Shoreditch one okay. of these days. So yeah. he's made that call. Yeah. Finally, that call's come through. The brave yeah. is here. Are you coming? You know, like, we've all got cars, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, so we've all got cars now. So right. Shoreditch like, oh, 15 years ago, it's not. Well, obviously, people know it as now. Nah. nah, it was a lot. It was a lot different. Is there a couple of clubs or bars or? There was, there was, there was bars everywhere. Okay, there was bars, bars everywhere. Already. Everywhere, okay. like when I'm telling you, everywhere. But it, it wasn't. Was, was it popping? Like it was popping, but right. differently popping. Like it not. And do you know what? Like certain days, like as you as you have it in it, Friday, Saturday, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be busy. It's gonna look good, but obviously, when there was so much going on them days there, like I remember going. When I first went down there, and then we went to traffic. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, so traffic while I was there, it's still there now. Yeah, it's still there. I've done events there. Yeah, and obviously, um, it was um, John and Dominic Daniels' rave. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, but John serviced my decks. Yeah. He's a bad man, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he yeah, knows yeah. everything right, about it. Right, John the Sam, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, it was, um, it was them, them two's event. And uh, you got Wigman was playing there, um, Statics was playing there. Um, Boris calls himself Antonio Pascal now he was playing there and a whole host of other DJs was playing 2005 yeah just like 2005 2006 yeah so yeah I just like obviously I've like listening to this music like but obviously bear in mind we've gone there from 12 like 1 o'clock 2 o'clock in the daytime Mm. so this is a daytime event isn't it so we've gone there and I'm just hearing some sound and I'm seeing everyone dancing like everyone's on a lovely vibe yeah yeah I'm looking around thinking what's this you know them days there I'm still half gang yeah half yeah I've missed that that's GA but not the NG yeah Yeah. I'm still half you know what I mean so I'm just like do you know what um like, I'm just not really, like, I'm bringing my little brethren, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. The youngers, now I'm bringing them and there. you're feeling like, a bit yeah. out of place. Can't, not really out of place, but we're just there and we're just, you know how you go on when you're young, you know, you, you're smoking weed all outside the place. <laughs> smoking weed in there, yeah, you, yeah. you know what Long I mean? Spilling that on the table. Yeah. Like, them days there, I swear you could smoke in clubs. Yeah. So, like, we're just there and we're just like, you know, just... We're just there for the, yeah. you know, because we're carrying it on and whatever, whatever. We're just there for the... But then when it got to night time, because it was, it was upstairs, yeah. yeah? So you walk through the door, how you do tapping yeah, yeah. now, bang, it was right there, like, kind of yeah. in your face, DJ at the back, this, uh, everyone's sitting down, there was tables along each side, mm. yeah, the bar was in a different place. I'm sure the bar was in a different place, but there was tables each side, and everyone used to just sit at these tables, you know what I mean? And just have a good time, you yeah. know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so when it came to... 10 o'clock, yeah. 10 till 12, they moved to the downstairs, the downstairs bit, yeah. So this is the boogie now. Yeah, yeah. And then when that, when they moved it to down there, that's when like, the, 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 the DJs like Boris, and the DJs like, uh, Wigman, mm. Statics, they was playing down there. Okay. And then they was playing a completely, not completely different sound, but remember, I'm telling you, I had the little, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the singy and the, like the, but I soulful what, vibe. That soulful house, yeah, yeah. I still love to yeah. this day. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you hear that, it's a tune. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean? It's, it's a feeling. It's, it's a whole it's, mood. It's a, bro, it's a whole mood. It's a, yeah. it's a tune. Yeah. Like when you listen to that, on that level of music, yeah. that, that music was levels. Like yeah. there's no, like, like, Obviously, I was missing it because yeah. I was looking for something harder. Because you remember, I come yeah. from Jungle. Yeah, I, yeah. I forgot about the garage stage. I, I, I was okay. into that, but I was into the harder garage. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, so that would be... To, like the Oxide um, Neutrino, the So Solids. And... Nah, I was nah. into like the hard, like, uh, what's his name? I think his name's Chris Mack. Okay. Chris Mack. Yeah, 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 Chris Mack. Yeah, yeah he I'll made a Chris lot Mack. of bangers that yeah. I was like, you know what I mean? And there was, a, I, I still got a lot of the Gary's tunes now. Mm. So I'd have to go through them, but I haven't, like, they're in my, in my garden, in my shed, so I'm going to have to go through and see. I'm the, moving the me. turntables here, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say the, that. Uh, 1210s? I ain't got the 1210s. Oh, oh, oh. It's um, pricey, isn't it? Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought, I want some turntables. Yeah, So yeah. I went for the reloop, the reloop ones, I can't remember what model. Yeah. But 
They're decent, man. They've done good? tests on them against 12-10, yeah? they're decent, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay, they're decent. Okay. They're decent. Okay. We'll have know. to have a little dig. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I've still got my 12-10s, though. I've you still, have you? Yeah, I've still got them, You man. can't get rid of them. I've only got one that's working. Like, my other one, the arm, I don't know, something's wrong with the arm. Like, I've got it fixed already and something mm. happened again, but, you know, that just goes on the line. Sorry, yeah. we're going. We're going yeah. downstairs. Yeah, take right. me. Take me to when it gets dark. What you're saying? Right. It's ten so, o'clock. Yeah, yeah what's, ten what's o'clock going on? Now. It's gone. It's gone dark now. Like so, the music now. I'm hearing. I'm like, you know, like it was um, like all them like travel away. Quinton, what's his name? Quinton think, Harris. Quinton yeah. Harris tra- traveling away and okay. um, my bed. Um, yeah. what's the name? What's the name? Maya Jankos? No, what's her? Oh, the one that's like Amy Winehouse. Like, she done a, a remix. Um, there was a remix on a... What's it name? On a funky house track. My Bed. Oh, I don't know. My that. Bed, My Bed. Ain't you heard it? No, I don't know. Right, no, it's a proper okay. tune, but like, all of these tunes and... They were like, I can't name them all because I wasn't really into the... Like, I love that music, but I heard all of these tunes, you know what I mean? And... Jealousy and all of these yeah. things, like I'm hearing these, I'm like, whoa, yeah. like what is this? And for for like about a year, it, cause me with music, it, like I'm very like you know it has to like something has to keep me going with mm. the music, yeah, something to keep me motivated, yeah, you know, and like do you, to hold my attention, it's got to be something for me that I feel okay. in the body. Yeah. So it's not just about a mind thing or just about a, oh, what's in yeah, and yeah, what's yeah. not. If I'm not feeling it bodily, I'm out. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the way it was, like, I just, like, these tunes, I was feeling it, like, mm. and I was thinking, do you know what? Like, this is actually, like, good music. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> like, remember, I've just first went there just to carry it on. Yeah. That was my first old initial. Yeah, and when yeah. I've heard all these soulful... I'm thinking, you know, mm. not even, and then bang, I'm hearing that, and then I'm like, whoa. Actually, now you want to go out for the sound. Now, yeah. I want to, I want to go out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to go out. Like that's all I know. I want to go out. Like yeah. every from then, every single week, I was in traffic. You know what yeah. I mean? So then it's tra- traffic, uh, and then and then they started doing traffic. Then Bar Monastery, Bar okay. Monastery was in Forest Gate. Right. Luckily for me, it was at the top of my road. Okay. Yeah, where... Uh, Lucky where or lived. dangerously. Yeah. <laughs> well... <laughs> I, no quiet nights. You know, it was a Sunday. Local. You know, yeah. we, like, it was a Sunday that it was on. Mm. I didn't work them times there. So, you know, it was good for me. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, like, I could walk there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I could walk there. Like, certain days I'd be, like, phoning my cousin and, like, what are you lot doing? Like, oh, we're not going this week. Oh, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, you're there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm walking there, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm just thinking to myself, right, I've gone to these places, heard this music, and I'm just like, do you know what? Like, this music is is proper live, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I, like, I can actually, like, like, feed off this music, you know what I mean? And, like, I started making friends with some of the DJs and stuff like that, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, made friends with Statics, made friends with Wigman, you know, like, so I started following them to a certain um, extent. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like just following them as, de- like, just, just not because I wanted to be with Pally Pally with DJs, because these guys were cool. I mm. liked what they played. They was um, obviously, like, drawn to me as well, because it wasn't just me. It was like, we went in there with a little crew, me and my cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my cousin talked to certain people. I talked to certain people. I knew certain people from before. Mm. People was coming out the woodwork they didn't know. People was coming from South London that I knew from years ago. And, you know, like, then the, the, the rave started just, like... So for the next, the next, like, three years, that's why it must have been 2004, really. Mm. It must have been, because for the next three years... Till I think 2007, so four, five, six, seven, yeah. So till 2007, I was raving consistently in these dances. But like, not not DJing yet? Not DJing at all. Just pure rave. But to say that, I had Technique 1210s, as I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had Technique 1210s, and within that raving time, as I say, we was the carry on crew. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Sometimes we just want to carry on more, yeah, you yeah. know. So then, when you're carrying it on even more now, you're finding your place 
you're ending up in some weird some mad places. places. <laughs> like, when I'm telling you mad places, I'm doing mad places, like fetish clubs, like <laughs> all of that sort of, yeah, like craziness. Yeah. yeah, like that's where you're ending up though. Yeah. When you, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously for me, I'm just discovering. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? I'm just discovering. When it, you so. first discover that, that carry on scene of London. Yeah. It's a very special feeling. Yeah, it is. It is. I discovered it obviously a lot later than, than yeah. you, but it's like I don't know if it's because usually it's it's new people and there's new things going on and yeah. it's just like, mate, it's just a, it's like a whole other world. I remember like I used to go to many times fire a light box on a random Tuesday or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's one. another one. Yeah, yeah another one. Another you come out Wednesday, yeah. Vauxhall Station, people are going to work in yeah. their suits and that. Yeah. And you're You've been out three days, not yeah, slept. Exactly. Madness. Exactly. Madness. I remember a few times coming back from Vauxhall on the train like that, oh. hiding my face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretending I was sleeping with the one in the world, you know? <laughs> no, nothing <laughs> makes you feel worse <laughs> you know? than leaving Vauxhall <laughs> and seeing everyone with their life in order. Trust me. And then there'll be another time where I've got on the train and there's four of us and then oh 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 and everyone's on the train just making noise and then people are looking at me like what yeah, are you not yeah. up to you madness. know what I mean so madness. it's the balance in it really when when did you start playing this stuff that you were feeling bro so basically yeah so the story just carries on from where we left off really yeah. and I've just like when you want when you want to carry things on like you just find yourself in some different places as I said mm. you know like there was like places we was finding finding ourselves where it was like kind of demonic in a way you know what I mean like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's the only way I can explain it it's the demonic the tunes the mm. the whole atmosphere what's going on in the place mm. it was just demonic yeah. you know what I mean and I was like I thought do you know what this is bad, but there's some good in it because I'm hearing stuff that's making me move. Yeah. And it's not by default I'm yeah. moving. I'm moving because it's making my body move. And I'm yeah. like, what's this? Yeah, yeah. You know, every time I'd go up to the DJ, what's that tune? Yeah. You get me? What's this tune? It's Italian DJ. Some of them say, hey, go away. No, well, no. And these times, is it... Uh, Turntables, CDJs come turntables, out. Now. Turntables, turntables. Still turntables. turntables so DJs yeah. are still bringing their records turntables, out. Turntables, turntables, yeah. yeah. So you're just seeing the records spinning. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the CDJ did come out, yeah. but they was just like, people didn't really you're like not they, fucking them with Them it. days there, mm. you see all of them old school DJs and that, that was it. Mm. They would snub them. They'd yeah. be like, mm, they'd be plugging things out, like, yeah. get that away from me. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah. wanna be in some, like, get, like, because they used to make one deck there, then one deck there, yeah. then. They'll be moving the deck and putting their deck, and what are you doing? Like, put that yeah. back to how it is, you know what I mean? Because yeah. they wasn't getting, and obviously the clubs are, you know, they just started, like, slowly but surely getting rid of the Technique 1210s and just having CDJs. So DJs couldn't even then bring their records. Bring their records to the club. You know what I mean? So I'm going to the DJs, what's this, what's that, what's this, what's that? And um, obviously they're giving me a couple of names of the tracks. And then I met two DJs. I met one called um, Dan. Mm. He was named, um, he was named uh, Dan, Danny, Danny M. Mm. And uh, a dreadlocked one called Ray Stanley. Okay. See how I can't forget these names. Yeah, big up Ray Stanley. Yeah, and Danny M. Yeah, them guys there. Big them up because I met them, mm. and they said to me, "Yeah, we got a shop, Inverness Street, Camden." Okay. I was like, "What?" They're like, "Yeah, final rules." I said, "Yeah." yeah. So when obviously I'm asking these guys for this and that, this and that, I've just gone down to their shop in it. And then that was me, like, every, like, any time I got a bit of spare cash or whatever, mm. I was down that shop. You know what I mean? Every week, like, until you, like, I'm hearing tunes and I've heard them already. And I'm yeah, like, ah, yeah. like, oh, then I'm coming in and then, hey, there's yeah. nothing new for you today. Like, <laughs> yeah. It got to that stage. But, <laughs> but now you're buying the tunes that you're feeling. Yeah. What 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 genre would you call that? What what was it? It was like minimal techno. Okay. Uh, a little bit of tech house in there. <clears throat> You know yeah. what I mean? But it was like, it was all, it was a lot of like, when you get your decks down, I'll bring, I'll yeah. bring, I'll bring, okay, the, yeah, stuff, please. I'll bring the stuff down. Please, honestly. So you can judge it, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and this is why I always talk about, you know, like where nobody really cared about that sound. Mm. Well, nobody that we know of um, today's world, mm. in any, none of, not any one DJ yeah. cared about that sound or, 
You know what I mean? That was a whole different sound. And for me, I created that sound because, mm. not because, like, not like I created the sound in saying like, it's my sound, because mm. it was other people's music I was playing. <clears throat> but I created that sound within going out, finding out where it was, mm. getting it down, putting it into my compilation. So when I put it into my compilation and I delivered it in the way yeah. I delivered it, yeah. then that's the response that I was yeah. thinking that I was going to get because okay. it wasn't like, I wasn't going to, I, I might have been in a rave for eight hours mm. and I only heard three tunes that I liked. Yeah. But from them three tunes, they went into my collection. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, you're to doing me, your research, isn't it? That's research yeah. and, you know, like, and I didn't really feel that anybody else was kind of doing that. They was just playing what they was playing for the moment. And as bearing in mind, everybody was into Funky House at this time. Yeah. Everybody. Mm. Like, I can't, I can't think of one person that wasn't. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, everyone was into Funky House at that time. So, when I'm getting these collections and I've finally put it together, I was, this stage now, um, because... Right, I start obviously the raving, the carrying it on thing, mm. as I talk about. We start end up in one thousand and one and stuff yes. like that, and these places now still there now. Yeah, yeah. And I met uh, Big Will. Okay. Uh, Dagger Simon. Yeah. Uh, he calls himself Simon. Says on the, what's it name now? Okay. He does a lot of work in uh, Thailand. And, okay. Yeah, so he lives out there now. He's a really Sick. good guy, man. Um, yeah. But um, I met him and I met um, Will and that. Okay. So when I met them, they st they started going on about they're gonna have a daytime party on a Sunday. Yeah. So by this time, I'm trying to convert everybody now because mm. I've got my decks. Remember, I'm yeah. in my house. I'm doing my thing. Mixing, you got your tunes. Got my tunes. Got the decks. Got my decks. You're ready. So I'm ready. I'm like so. He's saying, yeah, I'm gonna have a rave. It's called church, this, that, the other, boom, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be at Herbal, you know, where Bobby and Steve mm. have their rave. It's like, yeah, of mm. course, you know about Bobby and Steve, you know what I mean? Mm. Even though I didn't really go there because their house was a bit lighter for me. Okay. It was in between <clears throat> Funky House and the Tech House thing, Okay. that Bobby and Steve. So I didn't really, because for me, it wasn't going there, yeah? So I didn't really like it. So I just thought to myself, do you know what? Yeah, right, let me go to this rave and see what this <clears throat> rave's saying. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've gone to the rave. And, yeah, a couple of times, you know, like, um, yeah, a couple of times, the guys played, stuff like that. Like, Radford <clears throat> was there playing. And, okay. Um, now, what, 2010, 20, 20, 2010, 2011? No, this is... Still 2000. eight. Oh, wow. I haven't really moved, you know what okay, I mean? Wow, I haven't really okay. moved. I know, it's a big story, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, But, um, yeah, 2008 this is now. Wow. 27, 28, yeah? So... Where's yeah. Radford been all this time? What's he, where's... He was playing other, like... He was playing, like, other genres of music. Okay. I think. So Radford was playing the jungle and all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. That's the same as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think he was DJing jungle where, okay. like out and stuff right. I, I, I'm okay. pretty sure yeah like um, but obviously <clears throat> when he's coming like when I've heard like I, like when I've heard like Radford and there was a uh, Maximus and there was a uh, DJ called oh what's his name anyway see me I'm bad <laughs> yeah right so there's a few few DJs anyway yeah. Now, yeah and there was one DJ there was one DJ and I can't remember his name <laughs> who I kind of, this is the same DJ I'm trying to remember, who I kind of like looked at and looked at like, wow, this yeah. guy got some sounds. Inspirational. Sound. Yeah, he's got sounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got sounds. And um, oh, what happened now, yeah? So I'm thinking this guy's got sounds, isn't it? So he is the one that stood out for me personally. Okay. You know what I mean? within all of these guys that was playing on it. Because when they were coming, they was coming on with their little electro house and yeah. their progressive house. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, I wasn't feeling it. But this guy had something raw. Like, there was something, <clears throat> like, you know what I mean? He, like, he played a few tunes that got me. Like, yeah. wow. Like, yeah. had to go and speak to him after. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, yeah, when I spoke to him, yeah. like, yo, like, yeah. what is it? Like, yeah. Like, so, 
Um, yeah, so um, me and him kind of caught a little vibe and stuff like that. And then um, like he's the first man to play Ruben. Dum, dum, no dum, way. Dum, 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 <laughs> dum, dum, <laughs> that That's when I heard it, right? That's wow. when I heard the tune. So I was like, Right, it's this this guy's played it, innit? Like, so yeah. I ran to him, obviously, and thought, yeah. what is that tune? Yeah, yeah, like, And yeah. then me and him start chatting, innit? Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, Who made that tune? Uh, that was uh, Stefan Bodzin and uh, Oliver Hunter. You know it's not on my USB, you know? No, <laughs> serious. It's not, bruv, because how can I stop? You know I, I, mean? I understand. And do you know where it is? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, when DJ started playing it years later, yeah. like, I've got, like, there was a whole thing that we done in Herbal, a whole uh, documentary, a little documentary. My mate came down and he filmed it. Mm-hmm. It's on my old PlayStation and all that. <laughs> and I'm actually rinsing that tune on there. Yeah. So that's like 2008. And then when Rah. they tried to bring it back in, I'd always been I playing can't the tune. That. So I just thought to myself, do you know what? This is a. This is another like, you know, like what? So when other people play it, it's a good track. Yeah. But when I'm playing it and I've been playing it consistently, you didn't see me. Bro, you know Shannon Lamar did a rave and in the DJ group, he put no Ruben. Yeah, see? <laughs> that was the brief yeah, for they, all DJs. Right, there you go, because everyone rinsed it wow. out too much and everyone's trying to get crowd reaction, yeah. you know, just from the the one the one the one rhythm just eating it out and mm. rinsing it yeah you know what I mean being so, properly rinsed that's yeah true. properly rinsed okay that. so you found this so this is now it's a good indication for me yeah. and for the listeners of the sounds that were getting you excited yeah and the sounds of where they're coming and where they're coming from yeah because that tune there is a good representation I think of mm. that London yeah, Deep of course tech it is. Yeah, of course. Sound. Yeah, of course. That we try and get. Do you know what I mean? So, what happens next? So, boy, you know. So then, I just basically said to Will, yeah, I said to Big Will, I can play all better than all of your DJs. I got the best music. <laughs> yeah, I got the best music. I can play. And he's like, yeah, like what? You DJ? I'm like, yeah, of course I DJ. You know what I mean? He's like, beefy. Like, <laughs> beefy. Yeah, that's what he is. Exactly like that. Let's see, I keep on banging. It's got, a ring, it's got a ring to it, you said. But that. like, yeah, he kept on like, and he's, and he's done exactly yeah. that, what you done, laughed, exactly <laughs> yeah. like that. And he said, all right, then, I'm going to give you a little chance upstairs. Yeah. Yeah? So he goes, I'm going to give you a little chance. One second, just check. I swear I just have one of the cameras. So yeah, go on. So yeah. you got a little warm-up set in that room too. So yeah, there was an upstairs, like, it's like the art, like, they're like Turbo finished at three o'clock yeah. in the morning. Then we used to have a private after party upstairs. Okay. So we got like so all you do is you walk out the rave yeah. and then if you had a wristband, yeah. you'd go right and go straight up the nice. stairs. And if you didn't, you go left uh, down the stairs. Okay. And people be like, oh, where's my wristband yeah. now, mate? <laughs> See ya. Uh, See you later. <laughs> yeah. So it used to be proper like that. You know what I mean? And people okay. couldn't get up there unless you had the wristband. So. Sick. I start, they started giving me a warm up up there. Okay. So I'm up there on the decks and all of that, you know what I mean? And like, I'm just mixing, doing my thing, you know what I mean? And then one day, like, I mean, one day, like, these lots started telling me about, I've got to put all my stuff onto CDs. So I started putting all my stuff on CDs. I really backed that up, innit? Because now I'm playing in the rave. Yeah. So I'm thinking, they've got CDJs. I'm going to learn it one day. Mm. Then we just burn off CDs. So I'm burning yeah. off CDs, burning off CDs, burning off CDs, burning off CDs. So I've got like five, six tracks on each CD. You know what mm. I mean? Like goes. Like, so I'm just thinking, right, I've got these ones. Right, I can do. Let me see what, what's going on. Right. Like one day, one DJ forgot his laptop. Okay. Yeah. And these times now, I've got to think about it now. This is like the, the the set is from like four till six or six to eight. The right. race starts at twelve. Right, this is peak yeah. times now. Peak times. Peak times. Peak times. Yeah. So they've looked around the room. Stepping out like, to the front yeah, line. Max now. is like, I'm not doing it. I've got my set at twelve. He's like that. Yeah. So like if he's got his set, he's That's not it. doing it. He's okay. got his thing. He's got it. Yeah. The other DJ's like, Nah, I'm not doing it. But I ain't got my this. Mm. And it come to me. Can you do it? I was thinking, no, 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 I can't. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was thinking, no, I can't, I can't. I don't even know how to mix on CDJs. Mm. I don't know how to mix on CDJs. All I've got is my, because I'm not meant to play. Yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. CDs in the car yeah. or something like that. So I'm not meant to play. But I said, yeah, I've got my CDs. They're in the car. So he's like, go and get them now. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god, like 
I'm half cut as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've been up all night, so yeah. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going out. My hands are shaking. Yeah, I know the feeling. Everything. Like, come like, on. I'm like, oh my God, what have I put myself into? Yeah. The place is ram, it's going off. Right now, it's going off. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have to wing this one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So basically, I've gone, got my things, come back, straight on. Like, within five minutes, I'm on. They're like, I'm like, what's, what do you do? This, that, the other. They're just like, yeah, just do this, do that, move it like that. Come yeah. on, you, you can do it. If you can mix, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, all right then. So then I'm just there with the vinyl mode. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Vinyl mode. Chuka, 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 Then it's going out and I'm like, shh, I'm spinning it. It's going Yeah, you got no, with that touch, I don't know, you're I'm not going to have the touch it back. at all. I'm thinking, oh my God. So then you know when you just, you're winging it now. So, yeah. But I had the tunes. That's yeah. the whole, that oh, yeah, yeah. was the, right, that's the pinnacle now. Because yeah. I had the tunes. Yeah. So when I'm coming in, they can hear what's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'm just like, wing it quickly, bam, yeah. slam it out, bang, it's in. Yeah, yeah everyone's like that. Everyone's like, what? Yeah. Tune, gassed. Yeah. Everyone's gassed. So I just keep, like, I keep doing it. Clanging a bit in between yeah. where I'm trying to ride the mix yeah. certain time, getting yeah. excited now because yeah. everyone's liking it. Yeah. Little clang, look at the crowd, couple of people looking at me like that. <laughs> you know what it's done? You know what I mean? Bang. Yeah. yeah, and that was my life. And then after that day, we all said to me, You totally smashed the granny out of it, bruv. Mm. He goes, You here every week after now. He goes, mm. Want you here every week, yeah? He goes, Don't let me down. Every Sunday, yeah? We'll give you a set time, this, that, the other. Yeah, you can come down and play. Yeah, but you need one thing you need to do. I said, what? Go tighten up your mixing. Yeah. <laughs> Fair play to him, though, because yeah. you know you've got the bangers. Yeah. You just had to tighten up a little bit. Yeah. When do you think you started to feel like, yeah, I, I got the hang of this mixing thing now? Well, oh, that was like probably about a few months down the line. Cause yeah, because playing live, this is what I tell the new DJs, bruv. There's no practice for playing live. No, there's none. You can sit in your room yeah. and you can mix for 10 hours straight, yeah? yeah? The practice comes when you play live. When you play live, because obviously you've got to, you've got to have that crowd. A lot of DJs still haven't got it as well. No. That crowd engagement, that crowd like where, you know, sometimes I might look up mm. and there's people just staring at me like that. Mm. And I'm just like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, like some people, this is how it affects yeah. them, isn't it? You yeah. gotta, but some people will see that and just be like, <gasps> Yeah. Like, oh, or they're my, playing the bangers like, too early, bro. Yeah, People like, are not even moving. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah. getting to the race. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think I, I really got the hang of mixing when I had a residency at Golden Bay Shoreditch. Yeah, nine till twelve every Friday. Yeah, nine till twelve, nine till twelve, yeah. nine till twelve. Yeah, that, but that, that's three hours yeah. practice. Yeah. in front of a live audience. Yeah, yeah. and that's where my DJ was like, "Yeah, I'm comfy behind the decks now." Yeah, because before, bruv you know, you say about the hands shaking, the stomach, all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's the craziest feeling. Proper. It's the craziest proper. feeling. So now your residency, with what, what was the party called? Church? It's called Church at the time. Okay. Yeah. And these times, you must be building a little bit of a fan base. Yeah, I'm building was it. Was it BBM Pinting? You know you... Well, for me, I was notorious on the scene already. Yeah, for partying. So, for partying. Yeah. Everyone knew me. Women knew me. Men mm. knew me. Like, you know, everyone, they all knew me, like, promoters knew me. Yeah. You know, like, so, like, it was like, people were like, right, oh, like, DJs knew me. They're like, right, oh, you DJing now? Because I was that guy that was going to the rave and mm. they were saying, yeah, yeah, let him in, free. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I had that, nah, yeah, yeah. I, had, I was at that stage. So, all of a sudden now, I'm a DJ. So people were like, is he really a DJ now? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they would hear me play and then yeah. they'd be like, Okay. He's doing something different. Like, yeah. what's going Like, I don't know where he's coming from. Because remember, I'm coming from the funky house. Yeah. I was trying to draw all people over. I was telling people, come to the minimal parties. Come to the minimal mm. parties. Is that what you're calling them? Back That's then? what I was calling them back you're then. Yeah, them I was saying to people, parties. come to the minimal parties. Because now minimal is something completely else, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now minimal is really minimal. Yeah, yeah. Un yeah. Unfinished minimal. <laughs> some of it. Some of it. Because, you know, like, I, I can say that, yeah, because some of it. But I've got a lot, like, when I've got, when I say I've got minimal, I've got a lot in, yeah. the, in the stock, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got yeah. a lot of music, so I've got, I've got that groovy, there's groovy minimal there's, as yeah, well, like, bits. there's groovy, like, they called it, like, groovy tech back in the days, yeah. but it's, it's, it's minimal, but it, it, they just, I don't know, it's like, they change, it just changes, like, people say groovy tech, this, that, the other, you know, some, everyone's got their own little tweak yeah. on it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 
bring us back to the when the music was that when you, you first started getting them like aggressive angry shape cutting disgusting sounds what 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 years are we talking for that um, well we gotta call that like 212 okay so, so there's moving, like two we're years moving, we're moving yeah about three years now. okay so three, not four what years. happened in them three you now you, you're building a bit of a following in this time yeah and you do, are you doing the CD thing? You're burning CDs? The yeah, well... BBM I'll, pins? What, what's what's going on? How's the hype building? Because it's not Instagram thing. It's yeah, there's no... Yeah, it wasn't like that. So it was a BB thing, really. Yeah. BB was building... I was building up my name... And like, are you B-Free Edwards then? No. I'm no. just DJ... They put me as DJ Beefy. Okay. But, yeah, I didn't ever tell them what was my name. Okay. You know what I mean? And like, you know, when I was just told, <clears> it was like, what's your name? B-Free. You get me? And it was yeah. like, what? Yeah. Like, beefy, beefy. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> when you're kind of yeah, you're not sure. ashamed of the name, okay. not ashamed of it. You're not, you're not sure what it was. Yeah, you're not sure of the okay. name. You're not yeah. sure. So you're just like, mm, beefy. And then people are like, beefy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? And then beefy was going down on the flyer. And then after a while, I was like, nah, I don't like this. Yeah. I'm like, can you not take beefy off the flyer? Because beefy name in the race is associated with something completely different yeah. at the time. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So... I didn't want that name to be mixed within my DJ name. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, nah, like, what can I change it to? And I thought, you know what? Be free, innit? Yeah. Like, because, like, my, um, what's it name? My, um, my email, that's how it happened. Yeah. Because my email is B33FY26. Okay. Beefy, innit? Yeah. Right, so I just, my email's B3. B3, yeah, that's it. Okay. Bam. And I said, yeah, I just want to be known as B3. And then, yeah, the name just started getting, just getting, just getting big. And basically, within my first year, uh, 2008, I, I done a, yeah, I, I um, came to summertime, I just ran off to I, I Napa. Because I thought, do you know what? You know when you got such a big head by then? Remember, it's a year now. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, and you've been playing every week. Right, I've been playing every in week. In London, which is in like London, big fish, small pond. By this time, it's can't stop, won't stop. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's can't stop, won't stop now. Yeah. It's getting bigger. Yeah. The herbal crowd, everyone's loving me in herbal. Yeah. Like, I'm the, like, the star there right yeah. now. You understand? So, yeah. these times now, like... Yeah, it just got like it gets your head in it quickly. Of course, quickly just got to yeah. your head now. I'm just thinking, do you know what? Like, I've conquered this town now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to conquer. The, I'm going to conquer the world. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what. But that's what you come on. You do get that little. Mm -hmm. You do get that little. Oh yeah, the the, the gas builds yeah, quick. Yeah, the, the gas, gas cool. ego like, quick. Yeah, the, the ego's mad. Gas smart nine now. Yeah. Quickly. You know what I mean? So. I was just like, yeah, I'm kind of like, so I had a friend over there. Yeah, she was living there at the time. Mm. You know what I mean? And me and I was good friends when um, she was here. Okay. You know? And um, she went through a little bit of a few problems, you know mm. what I mean? With mental illness and stuff. Okay. So I just said to myself, do you know what? And then she just moved away to there. Yeah. So she's fine when she's out there. You know, everything's good for her. She's got her life back in mm. order. Great. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking... Yeah, I can go down there, can stay at hers, like this, that, the other, boom, boom, boom. Party yeah. capital at that time as well, nothing right. still popping. Yeah. And I've ended up staying there for like five weeks or something. Okay. So I've gone out there, and I've just gone over to Iron Napa, and like, she's got me little spots in Rig River Reggae, and okay. that. like, we was working with um, Mega Man, he, yeah. he had a rave out there. Okay. So he was, we, we was working with him as well, she had like a, where she was like in control of all the, um, what's them people called? The ones that go around giving out uh, that. The promo girls. Yeah, the promo yeah, yeah, girls yeah. and boys. Yeah. She she had her section that she was in control of. Oh. You know what I mean? So I used to help her with that. Like, just go around, make sure they're doing what they're doing. Yeah, get yeah, me yeah. and stuff. Let's help her. She used to help me. Okay. So. Well, was you said you were DJing a little bit over there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And you're yeah. still pushing. Yeah, I'm pushing this The sound around. that you're playing yeah, in cause, London. Because cause when, cause when, like, I. Like, and even like about a year ago, a man mm. took me back to the time, Mark Ryder. Mm. He's gone to me, was you on a beach in Ayanapa in 2008? And I said, yeah, bro. Yeah. That was me. Yeah. And he's gone, 
And I interviewed Marcus Nasty, and I was like, bro. yeah, bro, that was me. <laughs> no it's way. Like, you was talking about minimal, minimal. You was talking about, <laughs> I'm going to be the next biggest thing, minimal, minimal. He goes, I didn't even put your head on, on the thing. Like, I didn't even put yours, you know what I mean? Because he's thinking, who is this guy? Uh, big up Marcus, out Marcus here. Nasty, man. Yeah, he's coming out, he's thinking, who's this guy? Get me, it's with Marcus Nasty. Mm. He's talking about... Marcus minimal. Nasty must have been a, a king over there. Yeah, he yeah. was doing his thing over there. Because he was UK there. funky. Yeah, he was yeah. doing his thing over there. He had his own, um, um, yeah. the, the, the group of things as well. So but he's been yeah. popping for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been doing a lot. He's done a lot. Like, big respect to Marcus. You yeah, know what man. I mean? He's been, he's, he's done a lot. Trying to get him on. Trying to get him on, but yeah. you don't want to chat too much. Yeah. He just can't trust himself, he said. What? <laughs> like, do you know what it is? Like, do you know, like, some things, like, you know, like, it's, like, right now, we're in a time where it's not really about hiding anything from like the industry or mm. you know about holding anything back because we're all level pegging now mm. you know what i mean and some of the stuff that i still talk about i mean still seeing now to today mm. so i'm seeing stuff ain't changed mm. so you're gonna go through black lives matter and i don't know we're gonna kind of get along <laughs> yeah. we're gonna get on yeah, to all to, of that yeah we're gonna get on to <laughs> yeah. all of this down the line yeah. but um yeah just like certain things that I'm seeing and I see now, you know, I'm just seeing that there's there's no change. Mm. You know, there's no everyone's level pegging right now. So yeah. to say that you didn't want to say anything or you want to hold your mouth or mm. you know, like who are you holding it for and why are you holding your mouth? Like yeah. it's just like you know, it's just it, it's just like you're just allowing people to kind of hide from the truth when the truth will set you free. <laughs> you know what I mean? Truth should be free. <laughs> you know what I'm Tell saying? them again. It's the truth though. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't say it again because yeah. you know it's it's a thing where like like it's not gonna it's not gonna do you no harm mm. to be real yeah. in this world. You know what I mean? And if you're just gonna stand by and stick by the fakeness, then what's the point? This is what uh, this is what the Instagram encourages, bro. Mm. Instagram encourages fake fakeness. Yeah, and it's not real. Yeah. But anyway, take me back to Napa. Right. So we're in Napa. <laughs> I'm good at bringing you <laughs> back on <laughs> track. Yeah, we're in Napa. We're in Napa. <laughs> So yeah, basically I've like I've done little time over there. I've gone out there. I've tried to preach my music yeah. to the people. Them, you know what I mean. I remember J Bo was there. See, J Bo, he's a DJ now. Okay. He's come from yeah, being. But I remember he was there. Like there was a few people there that was kind of like half embracing the sounds. Okay, you know what I mean. That I was playing and they were like, "These are some sounds." Hey, hey, like they're listening. Yeah. They're like, "Yeah, these are some sounds." But most people wanted to hear Super D and yeah, Kismet yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. all of these lot, like which is you know, you're the just, you're the anomaly over there. Yeah, yeah, sure. which is normal. You know what I mean? Because obviously, remember, I've come from that world. Mm. Yeah, and I've jumped on because yeah, I've even missed all of that Kismet and Fever and yeah. all of that. They used to have. Raves, you know mm. what I mean? I can't remember what their raves was called. I don't think it was called Circle or anything like that, but mm. they used to have a rave, you know, I used to go to their raves and stuff like that. So that was like that so I've tried to experience that like little bit afro y yeah, yeah, side, like, but it wasn't me again. Yeah, yeah. Every time I went to these raves, I was looking at everyone just like, nah. Yeah. Everyone's like boom ba da dum dum having them wicked this time. And I was like, mm mm like no. I'm I wanna screw up my face. Bodily, I'm yeah, not yeah. feeling it. Like it's not in it's not giving me goosebumps. It's not making my heart palpitations. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's not making like, you know, when you get that yeah. your hair standing up on the back of your neck I'm and stuff. Off. Like, you, I wasn't getting that. Yeah. Like, and, and I need that. Like, that's that's what I need for music. So, mm. you know, lean. like, so, yeah, these times now, obviously, everyone wants to hear all of this stuff. So, I come back from Napa quite, um, what do you call, my ego was, Dented, yeah, yeah. like I'm not gonna lie, it yeah, was yeah, yeah. dented. Like it got, they, my ego got dented so much. I got back from there. As soon as I got back from there, someone's phoned me up. Bam, Pablo, yeah, R.I.P. Pablo, man, love okay. him. Um, Axe FM, okay. yeah, right. He's phoned me up. He said to me, yeah, him and Steve now seven phoned me up. Yeah, we've heard about you. Like we want you on our sh um our thing. We want you on our radio show. Rare, rare, rare. This, that, the other. Okay. They said to me, yeah. They were like the first internet station of the yeah, time. Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Axe FM, yeah, because okay. everyone is stemmed from Axe FM. <clears throat> yeah. Double this one, that one, yeah, like yeah, antics. Yeah. Is, like everybody is like Weighty J. Like a lot of people stemmed from then. Okay. You know what I mean? From Axe FM, and it's all through Pablo and that and and Seven. Like big up to them guys. Mm. You know what I mean? And um. Yeah, so they give me the phone call. 
And then, like, obviously, my cousin knew um, knew Seven, I think. Or Pab, which one of them? Pabs or Seven? Which mm. one of them? So he said to me, yeah, we'll jump on the show together. Okay. Yeah, so it's me and Nico now. So where is me and Nico now? Like, obviously, um, like, I thought to myself, I need to change up my style just a little bit. Mm. And coming from Napa and getting all of that stigma for doing what I was doing, mm. kind of like, it kind of like, as I said, it was a dent, a dent mm. in my pride, you get me? Like, and um, yeah, I, was, I started playing a little bit of funky here and there now. Okay. So I started started going to meet <coughs> Statics, going to meet Wigman, going to their houses. Because remember, I'm bridging to these guys now. Yeah, yeah, long, yeah, of course. Now I'm a DJ. <clears throat> they want what I've got. I yeah. want what they've got yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You can Come do nice little trade-offs So now. we're trading now. Yeah, so yeah. we're trading. So I'm getting all the latest bangers and this yeah. and that, the other, all of these tunes, you know, like, and like a couple of tunes, like, and so for about a year, mm. Like, we was on the station and that. And then, um, yeah, when we were on the station, like, I'm playing Nico, MC and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it started, and it was going well, you know what I mean? We was getting good responses to our shows. And like, yeah, we was just like, you know, we was just going through on that vibe. Okay. Yeah, Nico made me a couple dub plates. Nice. Far from easy to go hard in the dance like B3. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he made me a couple dub plates and like, that, like it was a tune. Like it, it was, it was um, a tune by uh, Danny. He calls himself um, Danger or Danny Danger now or something. Okay. MCs, right. but he made a tune. Like everyone talks about this tune. Like now, nah. like like even up to now. Sorry, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. still talks about this tune. It's called. It was called Deep Breath. Okay. Yeah. It's like dum 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 dum. Like it's, it's sickest tune. Yeah. Like, yeah. He he made that tune. You know what I mean? And um. Yeah, he bought it to like, he gave it to me. I put a dub on it with Nico. So yeah. I had my original yeah, dub. Yeah. So this tune is not bought <coughs> out. I've got a dub on it. Mm. And that kind of, that kind of made my, not made my name, but it kind of separated me from the rest yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was sending a message in that tune. Yeah, yeah of course. It's far from easy, yeah, to go yeah. hard in the dance like B3. Don't <laughs> believe me, arch for a CD. Yeah. <laughs> He's going a lot from E3 to Fiji. That was the lyrics, yeah. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah, like, so I was kind of sending out a message to people with okay. that, like, that dub plate. I was yeah. like, Neat's done the right thing, like, short and sweet as I told him because yeah. of me I'm always I'm not always the engineer behind my things yeah. I don't think that somebody's going to make something for me and me to just like for me to just like it like that it's going to be really hard mm. so I have to be behind the engineering yeah. doing some kind of you know so I just told Nico gave him a little briefing of what to do mm -hmm. he done like I never told him on the lyrics or nothing like yeah, that yeah. so he done that like bang and that was the tune and that tune there but like, even people come to me and still sing it now. Man. Get me, yeah. There's a brother called Teeks, yeah. He still yeah. comes out raving. He'll come <laughs> in a like, like, easy. He come to me all the yeah. time. Yeah. Be really, like he keep on doing it. But it, that's how much of a it, it stuck into people. people. So it's stuck with people. So from then, if we, come on. When you're like you're you're going like so now you're building. So you're going up. You're going yeah, up. You're going up. You're going up. And you're playing a tune like but that. I, I feel like that time there. You're building a bit more of a real following than what everyone's doing now. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't feel like people do that that real stuff now where they're they're building people that will come up to you people and buy say followers now. So it's <laughs> not like that now. Yeah. People won't come up to you and dance, but I'll sing a lyric to you that was played in, in a dub plate that you had. Yeah. Because more time everyone's playing the same tunes from Beatport. The same tunes from Beatport and people. It's a completely different time. Yeah, yeah, right. But do you know, and do you know what it is as well? And like another thing, then times there, as I said, I was at it, like I was, I had to change from digital to, I mean, from vinyl to mm. digital. So me on the beat pool, I was crazy on that beat pool, yeah. you know, like as I found that tune, Rubin, Stephen mm. Bodzin, yeah, Oliver yeah. Huntman. I'm going through Stephen Bodzin's whole catalogue. I'm going through Oliver Huntman's whole catalogue. Yeah. Any tunes they made pe with people, I'm going through their whole catalogue. Any, yeah, yeah, yeah. any tune that I've got now, I'm going through every artist of all of them tunes. That's how I first started. Yeah. All of them tunes, every single artist, see who they're collaborating with. Dan Burks and James Watt, going through their whole mm. collection. Oh my God, finding bangers. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just bringing them every time. Like, who else is on the scene around this time? 
like you popping? Well, just 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 me, Radford. Like that was the main on Sundays, still there. Like you know, like Carlos Aries, he was yeah. doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. Because Carlos, Carlos do you know one thing about Carlos Aries? Yeah, like he was popping at one stage. Mm. Yeah, he was popping at one stage, but he's mm. very consistent. Yeah, he's consistent. Mm. Yeah, like I can remember the days of going raving and seeing Carlos Aries playing some skinny light skin guy. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean, just but yeah. he's got a mix on YouTube like, that's had like. Views, yeah, yeah, views, but it must have been early days for him to be doing early, YouTube, yeah, early it's not days. like now. It must have been, it must have been real early days, Max, because boy, like he was like he was going for a long time, Carlos mm. series, you know yeah. what I mean? He's been going for a long time, so he, like he was there, he was popping. Um, uh, NG was popping, but on a different because okay. he just he just had a that tune with Katie B. Okay. All right. So NG, he was kind of popping them days. See what as well. I have to put this one. See DJ Naughty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was ghosting for a lot of people yeah. around them funky times. Yeah, yeah. So for me, yeah, I was looking at it like he's popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was popping more yeah, than he was popping. Yeah. I've had a chat with him. You know, the time and for still now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. I thought he was popping more yeah. than he was popping because yeah. I knew certain things that was going on behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what he was doing. Yeah. So I'm looking at him like he should be blowing right now. You get me? Kind of one of them people that you got to be afraid of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. so, if them man was on my radar. You know yeah. what I mean? So it was me, Raddy. Raddy was Raddy was popping. Me, Raddy. Um, I don't know, man. Like I don't can't remember what year we're in. Now. Like we're kind of in 2010. We haven't even come out. Really, come back from Napa. Popping Axe FM 2009. Okay. Yeah, so it's only really not... The, it wasn't really popping, popping. No, like, this is still early that, days. It's early, early days. It's early days. Like, man, we was getting notorious with that. You know what I mean? Within Shoreditch. Within also, Herbal. there's not many of you. Yeah. and At not, this time. Yeah, there's not many DJs that was no. playing. And as to say playing that music, I was probably the only one that was playing that music. Mm. Yeah, I was the only guy that was playing that style of music mm. with them, the bass lines that's coming yeah, in and just ripping the club apart. Yeah, 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 like that kind of bass line and doing that and what I was doing, nobody else was doing. Mm. So I can just say I, I was popping with my own right because yeah. I had something different what every yeah. other person didn't have. Yeah. So it was just like they had their own styles and they was popping within their right. Yeah. But obviously it was just a different type of... You know, we was both doing our thing, or mm. both. We was all doing yeah. our thing, but it's like, um, like everyone was doing their thing a little bit different. Mm. You know what I mean? And my style was getting more attention. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I saw it. Mm. Because it, it had to have been, because everyone was doing what they was doing before I come, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how comes now, when I've come... All of a sudden, su all of a sudden, the gas is the mark's gone up from two to six. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Energy. everyone, everyone's on form now. Yeah. Everyone has to be on form now. Yeah. Because you see, after this guy plays, you better be able to. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. how the it's coming. Just empty. That's how. It's, yeah, yeah, that's how it's coming. You lot better be able to perform now after this yeah. guy because this guy's coming in and he's coming in hard. Yeah. He's going for jugglers. He's going for necks. <laughs> Like that's what that's what it's basically yeah. like, you know yeah, what I mean? Because to me, every week it was a competition. Yeah. Every week was a competition. I've got all of these DJs that are playing, yeah? yeah, and and like there was more than one DJ because remember it's like a twelve-hour party. Mm. So there was me, there was Radford, there's this Matt, there's this, I've like there's I can't remember, all the there's AC, um, just so many other DJs. There's about yeah. eight, and I'm thinking to myself. Oh, come on, I'm going to murder you all. <laughs> <laughs> You're all dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That is what I'm thinking in my mm. head, you know what I mean? Like, you're all... And I'm so I'm, I'm so pissed off with myself for losing that... That, not hunger, but that, uh, you know, that... that Tenacity. That, yeah, that Why? anger. Why did you lose that, it? Oh, Why did you lose it? Because I became friendly with everybody. It became, you know, my peers and my peers... Mm. And, you know, like, uh, it's not so much of a competition now because we're all playing now. Because mm. I thought, 
I thought mm. it was all going to be great and everyone was going to be, we're all in this bubble together. Mm. Whatever you get, I get. Whatever he gets, she mm. gets. You know, like, I thought it was a it level playing field and everybody was going to be on, you know, like, come on, yeah. because you just got into a game. You're not going to think that it's going to turn out in the way it did turn out with your own peers just turning their back on you and stuff like that. You yeah. wouldn't think that, you know what I mean? What, so. Did you, did you realise at this point that you, you need to be a promoter to, or did, or did that enter your head or not? Because mm, nowadays no. it's a different story, isn't it? You can't just be a good DJ, but were you cool just being a DJ, shelling the dance, yeah. turning up next week, cool? But is it, it's a passion thing. You're not make you're not really making peas out of it. Like, yeah, and this is because you got to remember them days there was a fifty pound DJ. <laughs> yeah, can't stop, won't stop. Was paying me a hundred pound. Yeah, okay. but their their um, pricing for every week for everybody was mm. fifty pound. Mm. But because B three was doing the thing, yeah, okay, gave me backhanders. Yeah, yeah, and I can talk about it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like okay. I don't know, I'm not sure if anyone would deny yeah. it or whatever. <laughs> if other people knew about it, can talk about it now. I was getting that backhander. That's okay. how I knew I was doing the business. That's why okay. I can't just. Like come here and talk and say this and yeah. that and just it would just be like me just yeah we you want know, truth boosting my, own want, yeah. boosting my own ego which is why I asked you it's a little bit of a yeah question to ask but I want to know what it was like then if it's different now yeah if 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 any of that has influenced certain DJs behavior towards you or within the scene so that's why I had to ask that question yeah 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 so you know this point boom you're getting a little bill for your set yeah, yeah. things are nice yeah can't stop words so it's pop is popping now yeah, this is my popping. I wasn't there but I'd heard about these things yeah. yeah this is what my first introduction to the scene and the sound so take me from can't stop won't stop because there's a few other people that are starting to pop within this can't stop won't stop circle in it yeah who so, who's who's doing the thing? Well, it's just well, it's only me and Radford, really. Okay. Because these are I can only vouch for me and Radford, okay. really. You know, like you know, they say like obviously Max was there as well. Okay. Maximus, but yeah, I don't know this Maximus guy. There you go. Yeah. And 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 and, bad, and, 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 and you know and you know what? Yeah. I, I'm happy that you said it. Mm. Yeah. No, I not don't me. Learn. Yeah, because I don't. if I said it, it would look like I was. No, you mentioned him a couple of times, yeah. but I got to say. Yeah, it would. It would look like I was like you know like uh, trying to yeah. make a joke or make a make a whole like you know just trying to you know like um, I don't know what you say make take the take the Mickey out of man yeah or disrespectful well, disrespect, no, yeah. not, not even a disrespectful thing mm. but it's just like. Um, it's like I'm just trying to dismiss him. The, the people, let know? me tell you the people that I associate to, some of the names as I associate to that time. And they may not be that time, but this is what yeah. I think. Um, Stretch, Theo Stretch, he was doing stuff with Can't Stop, Won't Stop, wasn't he? No. No? No, not Theo okay. Stretch. Okay. No. Um, who else was I going to say? Casper, uh, is he doing stuff? No. Is that after? He tried to... I oh, see. Look, I'm so trying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I don't know. I'm no, asking you, beef. I'm not trying to stop drama. I'm no, asking. No, 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 no. I thought this was before no, my no, time. He came, like he like basically Casper. He tried to come in off, off the back of Rosh Mixard. Rosh okay. only come in when Dane come in. Okay, yeah? I still don't so, know. So yeah, so these this time now, like that. Obviously, that was after right. Um, Big Will Dagger Dagger decided to leave. Can't stop, won't stop. Right. So when Dagger decided to leave, can't stop, won't stop. He brought in Dane. Okay. Yeah? Dane's coming to can't stop, won't stop now, and Dane is like, you know, like he's um he's like um Rush's uncle, Rush Mixard. Okay. Rush Mixard. Yeah. I'm not sure if I do. You didn't know Rush Mixard. He played anyway. So mm. Rush Mixard, he's coming now. So he then they they said, you know what, um. You can, I'll, obviously I'll do the thing, manage whatever, mm. but just bring my little nephew in. Okay. So his little nephews come in. Mm. So, but it was a couple of years after that that he bought in Casper. Okay. You know, because like can't because by then can't stop won't stop. I think it's like two ten or something like that. Two eleven. Yeah. Like that's so, what year I associate. To, yeah. To so that. two or two ten two eleven. Now we're at, 
and Can't Stop Won't Stop is like popping now. Mm. You know, like they've got Avalon popping as well, yeah. Carlos Aries yeah. and that done it with a uh, couple of people. Okay. So Avalon was like the daytime thing and then yeah. used to go to Can't Stop Won't Stop after that. You know what I mean? That's the nighttime thing, but you're all yeah. waiting for the Can't Stop Won't Stop yeah. like to pop, like this is the popping off thing now. Yeah. Like, it's going to go off now. And obviously that causes a little bit of confliction between Can't Stop Won't Stop and Avalon because we all okay. were saying, how can you have your DJs banging it out there and then they're going to the next set a couple of hours later and they're banging it out there mm. some people ain't going to want to do both and some people ain't going to okay. which is so he was expecting a bit of loyalty yeah he was like, was expecting loyalty but them times there we're popping off innit yeah so you just want to the set you want to play, play to as many gas play, people as you possible. know what I mean and obviously you know I mean like I'm, I'm a DJ what will you know I'll 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 I will not go to Avalon to play my best set when I know that Herbals later. I mean, mm. sorry, um, aquariums later. Yeah, By yeah, then, yeah. we've moved now to aquarium. Okay. So, when I know that aquarium, you're going to be playing to like 700 people, you know? And then yeah. there, Avalon's, you're going to be playing to like 300 people. Yeah. So, of and then half them people are going to be outside, inside, whatever. Mm. It depends on what, because you wasn't getting the late sets there mm. really too tough. Like, they was giving us little sets like it, but it wasn't like the later down sets, because you got to think about it. Like, there was couple of them and then there was Carlos you know what I mean and so they yeah, got to they his... gotta feed their own egos yeah of course so obviously like, which is not a bad thing yeah 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 like so obviously they was doing the later sets and stuff like that which is a good thing for us because mm. we could just like leave now right I'm going to yeah. as soon as Can't Stop One Stop opens yeah, yeah, you're there. getting down there yeah. you know what I mean because I know it's going to pop off tonight <laughs> you know so you just want to be ready for <laughs> yeah, that yeah of course you know what I mean like it was at them stages there where you know what I mean? It, you knew it was gonna. You knew it was gonna pop off. You knew you had new tunes ready for the night. You know mm. what I mean? Like, so when did house entertainment become a thing? Right. So this is the right, same kind of things now. So out of out of nowhere now, I get a call, mm. and it's um, Dudley. Yeah. So Dudley's. What's Dudley been doing this whole? Like, the time before, is he just a raver? Is he no, just... no, no. Basically, he's got a crew. Okay. Yeah, he's got a crew. So I don't know what he, he was MCing in that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Dudley was an MC. Okay. But I didn't know him them days there. Really. Yeah. Like I'd only heard of him. I only know him through hearing him on on your sets on SoundCloud. Yeah. And through Housey from I associate him to Housey and T. Housey That's and T. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I didn't know him these times there, yeah. but obviously I'd heard of this, um, the crew and stuff like that, and. Um, yeah, I'd heard of um, these guys when they was MC and his name was Terror or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, um, um, I, I was like, he's phoned me up now, nah, yeah, out of the blue now. Nah. And he just said to me, oh, um, yeah, I've heard your mix, Miseducation of B3. Mm. He goes, the mix, bruv, he said to me, he's just like, bruv, that mix, he's like, Where'd you get them tunes from? <laughs> like, what is that stuff that you're playing? Yeah. So they're just showing you that like, this is 2010 and 2011 yeah. now. Yeah. No one's still playing this stuff that I'm talking yeah. about, bruv. No one's playing it. Yeah. 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 Like, no one's playing Setting it. Setting the levels. Yeah. It's no one's playing it. No one. Yeah. So, because if I was telling you the truth, then how come somebody else didn't yeah. click onto the side? Or why did they not ring someone else? Yeah, how come yeah. they didn't ring this other guy and say yeah. to this other guy, and I'm, remember, I'm putting out the CDs, I'm, half of the CDs got spelling mistakes on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I didn't go to school. I yeah. did dyslexia and all of them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't got, still not good with writing and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so, yeah. that's like, that, that was where, like, you know, I've, I've, like, I've learned a lot through, like, being yeah. on the phones and yeah, yeah, like yeah. obviously I learnt myself like in an, in another setting. Yeah, <laughs> I got education okay, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, but yeah, and that learnt me a lot because obviously I had to learn. Yeah, you had a bit more time you know, on your hands. A bit more time on my hands, <laughs> and people were saying to me words I didn't understand, and yeah. had to open a dictionary and okay. start reading. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what kind of got me onto the you know the stage of. Yeah like knowing what, what what to do. So I'm giving out these CDs now and he's got hold of a CD. So he's got hold of a CD. He's just like, yeah, this music is... He goes to me, look, come down, play at my first rave. Like he goes to me, yeah, one of my first... No, he goes, I had a little rave before, it went well. He goes, I'm doing another one on this date. Come down. Mm. It's at Anon, Anon, Anon Bar or something like that. He's like, yeah, come down there. 
play a set, I'll give you a set time, rare, rare, rare. I'll pay you, like, how much you want paying now. Mm. I said, boy, I'll, sit, I'll get £100 now. You get me? Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a bill. Yeah, he's a bill. You made a whole bill. <laughs> Man's on a bill Pop now, bro. Red yeah, notes, yeah. Like, listen, so he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, I'll cover all of that. He goes, yeah, that should be no problem. Mm. Rare, rare, rare. Because remember, he's phoning me, you know. Like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, then, boom, boom, boom. The girl at the time. I said to her, yeah, some guy's following me. I said, what do you reckon? She's like, go for it, you know? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, go for it, innit? Mm. Like, yeah, go for it. Like, and I'm like, boy, all right, cool. So these times now, like, because remember, I'm thinking, remember me, yeah? I'm trying to shy away from, uh, what can we call it at the time? This funky house yeah, stroke yeah, yeah. urban house yeah i'm not trying to get over to because there was no other side like that no. like i did look at myself and think you know what i can play with all these italian guys and stuff mm. like that but i thought do i really want to be in their world no. i thought no i don't because no. they're not gonna embrace me in their world mm. I want I want a culture where they're gonna embrace me. Yeah. And this can't stop, won't stop little bubble has embraced me. Yeah. And they have all of this Italian, this, that, the other people mm. coming to that's where I've met loads of all of these, you know, promoters and stuff mm. like that. And stuff like that. So I'm like, yeah, this is like the way kind of forward for mm. like the the um the the music and what I was bringing to the table. So Dudley, basically, I've gone to his rave. Gone to his rave now, and um, I didn't get to play. Oh. I didn't get to play, because I don't think I got to play. So it's the first thing, I think, I'm i not sure if I got to play, because I think there uh, some trouble happened. I think. Okay. Yeah? So then, when the troubles happened, I think I've left, and then like, yeah, because like, got out of there now, and then, oh, he's following me up. Oh, mate, like, look, see what happened on that day look we've got another date here different bar yeah that was a closing down of that bar i'm sure it was at that time he's like that's the closing down of that bar don't worry i'm gonna get you a set mm. i'm gonna play rare rare this that the other he said to me about redunos right yeah so i said to him yeah cool man i'll come down there he goes to me don't worry i'm gonna sort you out for that last one rare rare don't worry because i just left in it like mm. see it all kicking off people on the floor just like, yeah like, I'm like, so yeah, and um, yeah, I just like went play for him, play for him. Everything was good, you know what I mean. Like his crowd didn't really understand. Like really, they, yeah, they didn't. They didn't understand because okay. you got to realize like Dudley. He comes from like a like he comes from a like like a what can you say? A very black background. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it comes yeah. from a very black background, whereas I don't. Yeah. I come from a very black background, yes, yeah. with me and my family. Yeah. But, but I lived in Wolfenstone, yeah. for one. Yeah. So I was always around the Cockneys yeah, and yeah, yeah. all of that. Like, you know, like my dad used to take us football from mm. day, from dot day. You know what I mean? Like, and like my brother, he used to be in the football teams and that okay. and stuff like that. So... These things wasn't predominantly black them days yeah. there. They was predominantly white. Yeah. You know what I mean? And a lot of my school friends and stuff like that, there was white guys. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, obviously I had a lot of black friends and mm. stuff like that, but obviously that's when my life changed mm. and I went into like the kind of, the other lifestyle. Okay. So that's when I started hanging around with black, black people mm. and my background became black yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now it became black. But like beforehand, mm. It wasn't because I grew up in a very mixed culture mm. where, you know what I mean? Like, like I've got friends even to now, like, that are, that are non-black. Yeah. You know, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Not yeah. like saying like, yeah, I've got friends to now that's non-black. Like, yeah. good friends yeah, that yeah, I've yeah. had from back in from the early days. days. Yeah, from yeah. early days. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, how so, CNT is, was known as a, as a, as a it black was, party. It, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. it was very, very black. Yeah. So, when you, you like, and, where obviously I was like, where we've gone through the years already here, yeah. and I was going to all of these, as I said, you ending up in some mad places, like, mm. yeah, so them fetish parties and all of that, they mm. wasn't black. No, <laughs> you no, know no. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, them, them bloody um, techno parties, they yeah, were definitely no. not black. 
You know, like all of them, like minimal and two thousand, um, one thousand and one. Mm. That wasn't black. No. You know what I mean? So that was like me kind of going back to what I know. Mm. You know what I mean? From the from yeah. from, from what I've been yeah. brought up yeah. knowing. You know, because there's Brian, a lot of there's a lot of bad man. Yeah, like yeah, bad man behavior. Yeah, but you're playing your sounds now. Yeah, like the house CNT stuff, and obviously. They're loving it, yeah. Yeah, well, they wasn't. They wasn't. Okay. They, they wasn't really like come on because you got you had all the other DJs playing their abstract. The only the only abstract DJ that was there, yeah, was Theo Stretch Lewis. Okay, yeah. So I will give him his props in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the only abstract DJ. What I heard playing a little different. Yeah. Than just the standard funky mm. or the stand like you know what I mean, just the standard. Like, I don't know how it was them days there because it was just purely funky. It was just okay. purely, you know, like, yeah, it wasn't really, you know. So, obviously, when I came in there, the only one that really caught my ear was Theo Stretch. Okay. Yeah, he, because he had a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Different, so, when did know? the, when did the start, when did the, the house CNT sound yeah. start becoming what I associate it with now? Because, obviously, then, like, obviously, these times now, obviously, once he heard like he heard me play and that, and Dudley heard me play and he just started me just just I just went in in it just started yeah. playing a nasty tune yeah. and just going in just like boom 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 he's like yeah right he just come to me again now bam right I want you part of House Entertainment this okay. that the other I'm just like oh my god I'm ready I'm can't stop won't stop what am I yeah. gonna do okay. we're having meetings we can't stop won't stop every minute they're complaining they're talking this they're talking that. Now I have to say I'm in another crew and this, that, the other, the crew's predominantly <clears throat> black now. So it's Okay, so you're already be... thinking like this, like there's going to yeah, be... Yeah, because, and, and, and you see where this whole thing with the systematic thing comes into it now, mm. because look how I was thinking. Mm. Oh, I've got to be on this. Oh, I'm with the, I'm with the urban black crew now. How's people going <laughs> to look at me now? And you know what I mean? I'm yeah. thinking this is everything what I've tried to get away from, steer yeah. away from. Yeah. But... You know, like, it's like, because it wasn't, it was in them days, it was either you're in that dark, rugged scene. Yeah. Or you're in a... a fluffy fairy tale. Yeah, a fluffy fairy tale with, with you know, like, I don't know. But you're like, stuck because your yeah, sound suits like, the rugged... On. Listen, I was playing at, like, certain, like, you can't say, I can't say gay parties because they wasn't gay parties but mm. there was lots of gay people in okay. some of these parties yeah, that I was yeah. playing in yeah. so when obviously Will and that are pushing me in that kind of direction mm. where I'm playing to a more and then you're going to play to the bop 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 rub 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 money pull up <laughs> rub like all yeah. that it's a whole different scene isn't it yeah, like, bro, it's a whole the pull up still made its way into yeah, the house right. into the it's house scene it still made its way to the house scene so when you're going from that to that, it's like, come on, like, I knew that mm. we was, like, on the way to creating because that scene didn't want me mm. and I didn't want to be on that scene. Okay. So I knew that I was on the way to creating a new scene. Right. And I could feel it coming. Okay. And you know, my hands are sweaty. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. Because you're going to be thinking, the champion of that. I'm thinking I am. Yeah. I thought yeah. I would have been. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that's another story we're probably going to get into. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I just thought to myself, like, yeah, man, like, this is, like, like what am I going to do? So I'm in two crews, and then I start, sm I start sm like, lo and behold, I thought, with this um, Hassan's thing, it might die off a little bit, mm. you know what I mean? And then, obviously, I just, like, I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to go buck wild. Like, mm. that's it, man. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm just playing. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to try and mix no funky in there. For no, you you're, just, you're you now. Yeah, I'm me mean now. You what year I mean? do you think you found yourself? Yeah, that was probably... <laughs> not on a spiritual deep one, but yeah. <laughs> musically. Musically, musically was definitely, was definitely around 210, 211. Mm. Yeah, 210, 211. Yeah. I just said, you know what? Dropped all that funky out. Mm. So I ain't playing that. You're crazy. Like yeah. that's done. Yeah. So dropped all of that out. All of the funky ass and that business. Um, yeah, and like yeah, about 2009. I can mm -hmm. say I found myself. Okay. Yeah, 2009. 
So but 2011, it started being accepted. Yeah, by the crowd. Yeah, it started getting That's accepted. A good way to put it. Started getting accepted now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people started to look at it. You know what I mean? Like when was that? Um, one of my favourite sets of yours it was the the Brixton Brixton Street Splash. Brixton Street. That was. It's on SoundCloud. Yeah. yeah that was that was kind of later running. That was later running the time. Bro, I was listening to, to me, to I think that was like when at two sixteen or something. Was it? I don't know if there's a year on it. I'm going to try to find Brixton it. Brixton Splash. Brixton Splash, yeah. Brixton Splash. Bro, two years one of my favourite sets. I was listening to that when I was doing my cardio this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, bro. I was shuffling. I had the dog there. I was, I was throwing shapes on the country lane, bro. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know if the year's on it. Let me have a look. Uh, I couldn't tell you. Because we've done two. We done two Brits and Splashes. And what was that? Was that just set up in the middle of the street? Basically, basically, Brits and Splash was um, it was one of my guys, isn't it? So my guys come to me. Oh, it's 2014. See, yeah, oh, two, a couple, two, years, couple yeah, years, yeah, couple years later. So my guys come to me. He said to me basically, oh, he's gone to me. Uh, my guy Elliot now, nah, Elliot White. He's gone. Look, I got a shop on. Um, we used to go to his shop buy hats and mm. all that. He's still there now. Like, Rebel Soul Brits. Okay. So we used to go there and, uh, and um, buy hats off him and mm. stuff like that. Like he used to sell all uh, like um, accessories like for um, cannabis and stuff like that. Okay. You got your grind, like headshot, your Rizla, your yeah, this, yeah. your that. So like, but he used to have so much like okay. varieties of it. You know what I mean? So I used to always go down yeah, there, yeah, get yeah. my get all different. He'd be like, yeah, hey, I'll try these Rizla. Yeah, hey, yeah, I'll yeah. try that one. This, that, the old yeah. Well, so he's like that now, yes. And he's like, hey, Beef, what can you do? Um, you reckon you can do a party? Yeah, because cause, cause one thing he loved yeah. was the music. He, um, and I forgot to even say, he yeah. was a herbal raver. Okay. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. so he knows the sound. He knows my sound. Yeah. He told me when he's getting his shop, you're going to come down. I'm getting decks in my shop. Like, <laughs> don't, you're coming down to play in my shop. Yeah. So lo and behold, I go down there to go play in his shop, innit? So Sick. I'm just DJing in his shop. He's yeah. got his customers coming in. <laughs> I was DJing Sick. in there. Yeah. Like, yeah, so I'm just there doing whatever I'm doing. And then he just phoned me up one day. He said to me, look, Brits and Splash, this day, he goes, I ain't having it. Yeah, I said, what? He goes, oh, they won't give me a stage, so I'm going to make my own. I'm going to put it right outside my shop. Yeah? He goes, can you use my shop's electric, everything? He goes, I just want you out there. I just want you out there. That's what he said to me. I just want you out there to show the masses what you're about. Sick Get guy. Me, yeah. What a guy. So, these times now, he's like, he's like, yeah, boom. Like, um, yeah, just get, get it arranged. So, me, obviously, I've just gone to Dudley straight away. Yeah. And that's, because I know he likes doing stuff like that, setting up and what's not, getting everybody together. Yeah. So, Dudley's just gone now, nah, now nah, he's just said, look, bam, house entertainment, boom, we're doing it. But it obviously, it all, I think, that that came from that house on the street as well because you got to remember Lance okay. and that done house on the street Lance and okay. Casper right. that was Lance and Casper's rave okay. yeah so house on the streets and all of that so when we was hitting Brixton Splash we're yeah. thinking what big boy Splash we're in yeah. there like yeah. so like I just thought nah that's too much pressure for me and that was one of my problems back in them days there now I just took it on myself yeah, yeah, but yeah. them days there I thought you know you what, used to what, try and bring everyone in used to try and bring everyone it's too much pressure yeah in the I'm beginning thinking, yeah I'm thinking it's pressure it happens. So I'm thinking to myself, this is this is too much pressure. I let me bring him in, brought him in anyway. Now, nah, yeah, when I when I've got there, the tops and the mids cut out. Mm. So I was playing just under bass line, bro. Oh. Like I was actually so upset about yeah. that first set. Well, no, was it the first set? It might have been that. No, that was the second one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The first one, don't know some something happened with the set. I remember, and mm. halfway through my set, it was a bit funny and stuff like that but initially mm. going there for what he set up outside his shop yeah, yeah. was amazing it sounds in the recording amazing. guys i don't know if you've uh, yeah let me just tell the people yeah. i don't know if you've listened back to that set yet but find it on soundcloud i think it's had fifty three thousand plays or something probably mad numbers yeah but it sounds there's energy there's so many tunes in there. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's Rago. Boxes yeah. of balloons, 10 pounds inside. <laughs> we got drinks inside. Listen, well, I don't like anyone emceeing on a house yeah, yet, but yeah, yeah. Dudley does it all right, bruv. I don't mind listening yeah, yeah. to it. Balloons inside. Like, balloons inside, you know, a 10 pound of box. Yeah, yeah, like. Man, it was probably, it's just, there's energy in that set. Yeah. 
One second. Of, what's, what's that? One bar. One bar. All right, cool. But we need to we need to fast forward this uh, yeah. this this interview, but because we haven't got much battery left, and yeah. we've spent a long time. We might have to do a part two, but yeah. obviously we did want to speak. Uh, we spoke a little bit about the past. I want to speak a little bit about what's going on now. Yeah. Obviously, there's no waves happening now. Yeah. Nothing really going on. Yeah. I don't want to talk about COVID or, or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. I don't even want to mention the word. But <laughs> there's obviously, we, we, you know, we were talking about how CNT and stuff and Mixmag have done the, the feature, the blackout yeah. feature. Now, there's a couple of people that have been mentioned yeah. in, in the Mixmag. What was your, let me ask you, as a, as a black man, what yeah. was your opinion of the Mixmag blackout feature? Well, um, as a black person, I see what Frank Butcher... I see what he done, you know, and I respect what he done, mm. you know, like in as where he's tried to put, he's put a story out, he hasn't tried, mm. he's put a story out and uh, he's put it out in the best of his ability, mm. yeah, so I respect, I respect all of that, I do respect all of that, you know what I mean, but mm. like for me, like obviously, like the highlight, like when you're highlighting or you're, um, where you're putting something out there mm. on a platform like that, you're going to, like, if you do not research into what you're talking about in a proper way mm. and, you know, like, like if, if it's going to look like, you know, you're going to put, you know, like um, your, your, opinions across mm. in a non bias in a non biased way then I think it, it's it's cool but it also can become uncool. Yeah. Because when you're putting out your opinion, sorry, yeah. this is the one. Yeah. When you're putting out your opinion, it has to be non biased. Because how did he get them twenty people? Well he says twenty acts you should that know about. That's why. That's what I believe. Influence it was on the scene, mm. and obviously I don't want to call out names, mm. but there's certain DJs that no one's ever heard of. No, yeah, I'm glad you said that as well because there's you some know, people I don't know about. There's some people that like, like I've been in the scene for a long time. Mm. Like maybe they didn't see me, mm. but like I just think to myself, like, all right then, like how was you? Because you've highlighted certain guys from our scene, as we call it, mm. yeah, where you've highlighted Dudley, you've highlighted Lance, you've highlighted um, Circle, mm. you've highlighted Majesty and Cheeky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you, so you have yeah. kind of made, not made it about us mm. or us, but you've given, uh, you've given areas to now to speak on, mm. you know? And at the end of the day, I just think to myself, like, for one, of course, I definitely should have got, like, I definitely should have got a spread in that because mm. your whole initial tweet was about systematic racism. Mm. It was about what people have gone through in their lives so to mm. say, like, you know, like, gone through why they feel that they've been held back. Like, I've got a guy that's trying to interview me now. Mm. Yeah, he's done, he done all of that with the letter to RA and all of that. There yeah. was a, did you see that um, big spread about that? There was a no. whole thing, a letter to yeah. RA anyway, yeah. That's a, if you look it up, you'll okay. find it, but it's massive. Yeah. The spreads are massive. If you see it, I've been mentioning it by so many different journalists from things what I've done over the years that yeah. I don't even remember this. It, like, he's going back and he's saying, yeah, JP Patterson mentioned you this time, this one mentioned yeah. I'm just looking at it, I'm just like, whoa, like, yeah. I don't even realise that I've, like how much I've actually yeah. been out here doing this. You thing. really have. You know what I mean? Really so I just think to myself, like, like I ask people what do they think of it. Like the mm. next day, I got a backlash from it. Yeah. Because that's what hurt me, really. Yeah. That I'm getting backlash from something that it got offered to me, mm. but it didn't get offered to me in the right way. Right. Like it got offered to me with, with, with minuses. Mm. And for me, it's all or nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you, like, obviously I don't want to mention the minuses and what it was, mm. but, you know, we had a personal chat about that. And, yeah. like, 
if you're going to do something, as I say, it's either that or that. Because the way it would have looked, mm. to me, would have been a bit silly. You know? Like, if every man's there and another man's there. So, it just looks to me like, it just looks a bit, you know, so... I just thought to myself, do you know what? Like, you know, I did. Like, they give me a little mention under House Ent- Entertainment. Yeah. My only problem was I come before House Entertainment, you know, mm. and I'm still going now. Yeah. Whereas House Entertainment isn't. This is my thing with that you article know? is that there's a lot of stuff there that's not current. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of artists that are not current. Hundred percent. Events that are not current. Hundred percent. DJs that are 100%. not really doing anything. And I'm consistent. I'm consistent. So. You know, like for you, like this is what this is why I had to put it into the I put it into a into words to somebody, and I said, you know what? It's like it's like you're you're, you're mentioning Jesus, mm. but you forgot. You're like you, I mean, sorry, it's like you're mentioning the disciples, mm. but you forgot about Jesus. Yeah. Like how is that? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm. how is that? Like it's just like to me, like, and I'm not saying that these men are my disciples, but mm. come on. As I've explained to you the whole story yeah. from my truth, yeah. it's not my truth, it's the facts. Yeah. These guys wasn't playing that music, mm. yeah? Like, nobody was playing that music as a fact, you know? No. I, I remember going to Southport, 2010, mm. you know? I played a set, and the Majesty played straight after me. He played Funky House. Yeah. So, he wasn't playing that music. Mm. Like, you may have influenced the music in a way. In a commercial, they commercialized. Commercialized the, the, it. They made a business part of it. Made a business 100%. part of it. 100%. You know? Yeah. In certain, in certain, in certain years, certain years ago, mm. they even tried to change it. Yeah. And tweak it. Anybody yeah. that wants to change and tweak where we come from mm. and, you know, yeah. like, go into that different zone and that different world... You no longer become a part of that mm. that that scene. That's the way I see it. Well, that's the way I see it. When you distance yourself from something, yes, you become no longer that scene, innit? There are a lot of black DJs that I've spoken to that have tried to distance themselves from ghetto or urban parties because they felt it wasn't right for their brand. So that's black DJ talking about a black promoter's party. Disgusting. Like, that's all, like, that, like, that is totally... That, that's that, happened. I've had conversations with people who say, I don't want to play there, it's too ghetto. Yeah, it winds me up. It's too it, urban. It winds me up and no one would have ever heard that off my mouth. Mm. But yet, I got blackballed for two years. Mm. You know, I got blackballed for two years. People used to lie and say that I was medium high on the risk assessments and all of these things. DJs wanted to say they didn't mm. want to play on the lineups with me. And yeah. obviously we missed all of that part, but mm. obviously because we're moving on. But these are the things that happened within that time. And there mm. was a lot of people that was contribu- contributing to it. Mm. You know, that's why I've, that I've always going to have my head around me like about certain things and certain people and that's why I always feel no way to kind of talk up the things because mm. the way for me you know I got blackballed for two years mm. two years like straight no one didn't want to book me like House of Silk was booking me yeah. that's the only people that was booking me yeah 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 you know what I mean like um, big up S as well you know what I mean yeah how, how do you see the uh, like House of Silk for example going in the future with everything that's going on right now Covid times, it's mm. oh, I didn't want to mention it, but it's been a lot for everybody. You know mm. what I mean? And and fortunately, me and S speak like nearly every day yeah, about yeah. these situations. You know what I mean? Because like you got to have people like minded mm. to speak to. You know what I mean? Shenning as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, like we have to have that little. You know, we we talk. Mm. You know what I mean? We go through stuff. We see about moving on and. Yeah if we can move on, if we're going to move on. And, you know, you, 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 you have to have a support network around you right now. So that's the basic thing I'm trying to say. Mm. And um, the future's bleak. Yeah. Because I, from when it started, I said to everyone, I can't see it coming back. I can't see it coming back unless we get in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And for me, I'm thinking to myself, I'm not getting that. So it's my time over. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I'm like... I just think like and 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 same for you know like 
to people like um, S and stuff like that, I feel it for him really because obviously that's his business, his yeah, passion. Yeah. He's come from um, what's it, Pure Silk. Yeah, he's one of that. the biggest promoters. So I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, to be able to, we're a long way off for an event with 3,000 people. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, definitely a long way off. It's my one. Yeah, we're, we're a long <laughs> yeah, way off. We're so. definitely a long way off of Fran. Of, and, and, you know... And, and Feb, do you know what I love about S? And mm. I've got to say it on camera. If that one cuts out, we'll just keep it rolling. Um, what I've got to say about S, and I love it, yeah? He's refusing to do uh, COVID-19 uh, yeah. appliant parties. Because yeah. no, that's not what he's about, man. Yeah, that's not, that's what, not what House of Silk is yeah, about. that's not what he's about. There's a lot of brands that are doing these sit-down dinner parties things, yeah? Yeah. And it winds me up. Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. It's actually, I believe, in my opinion, and I can say this, it's so damaging for a brand, yet they're still pushing it. They're still pushing it. I'm seeing videos on Instagram people in cages yeah. sitting at tables yeah. like a lunch like a yeah. lunchroom at school yeah, one. yeah 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 it's terrible and I, just I get know. people got to make peas I guess yeah, that's what I, it is I don't know how they're doing it you know what I mean you know what I mean and it's you know just they even not even hired it but like, I won't do it I won't play if someone asks me to play I'm yeah, not playing like I, you know Love Juice they're doing it yeah. Audio Hot they're doing it yeah, you know I, I'm not like this is the truth <clears> innit? It? It, it shouldn't hurt anybody or offend no, anybody they're doing it, yeah. that I'm saying these yeah. things innit but these are the guys that are doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in a sense, to me, it's just, it's the same time, it's the same like when they wanted to distance themselves from the urban scene. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Because you see, when anybody's doing something, it's like you guys have showed that you are followers. Yeah. Yeah? You ain't mm. leaders in this game. No. You're followers. But that's why House of Silk... You ain't getting house, a, a sit yeah. down house of silk. You'll never get cancelled the party in November. Yeah, he's just cancelled it. Cancelled it. Yeah, he's just not doing that. You know what I mean? It's not do, he's not doing that at all. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, he doesn't feel that that's right for his brand no. at all. No. And a certain other people should be looking at it like, if you really cared about your brand, if you really cared about your brand, you wouldn't do it. If you cared about the rave, yeah. then you wouldn't do it. Yeah, you wouldn't do but it. But it's not about the rave. The rave now in... in Let's say 2019, before any of this bullshit come. The rave is big business now. Yeah. You know, talking 50, 60 grand turnover for some people's events. 100%. We're talking booking DJs, paying four grand. 100%. So this is now a big thing. But even that still, I, I want to touch up on that quickly. Go on. Yeah. We're going to keep rolling anyway. That, <laughs> that camera might die, yeah. but these ones will keep going and we've also got the audio. So okay. if you can't see our beautiful faces, we're talking good shit. So yeah. stay, stay, <laughs> stay, stay listening. Yeah. So these times now, I want to touch up on that. Like, when these, and another thing as well, mm. do you know, when people, like everyone was trying to move into that world, because there's mm. a few DJs and a few people like, yeah. I could, Dame dropped forever. Mm. Like, who, what DJs and what DJs wasn't doing that. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, like, but when they wanted to do that and they wanted to transition, they would pay these guys four or five grand. Mm. Yeah, and they'd be arguing with you to give you a little 250, 300 pound what you're running around the streets, asking, running around the raves asking for. Yeah. They'd be, you know, they didn't want to give you that. Mm. And they wanted to put all of these guys on top of you. So, Basically, I had a voice. Mm. This is why they, I got blackballed. Because mm. I had a voice. I yeah. said, why are you putting all of these DJs before us? Yeah. I said, you can't be... When S went to go into the coronet, mm. yeah? A man, and you know who you are. You said to him, that's dead stock, and it wouldn't happen. Yeah. He told a man, listen, you are committing suicide. This is what he said. <laughs> I love that's this. what a guy said. He said to S, he's going to commit suicide. Yeah. In that, in the coronet, yeah. when he put me, Adam, no headline, yeah. so-called headliners. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because where are you now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Where is this privilege? Where is it now? I think I know who you're talking about. You know what I mean? And I'm just saying, like, the, a guy said, you're committing suicide putting that line up in there. Mm. That's what they told him, you know? And he went in there and he got fucking 3,000 people or whatever he got in the coronet. It was yeah. so rammed that night. I used to night. love that venue, man. It was so rammed that night. I remember <laughs> coming out Sweating. being overwhelmed. Yeah. Like, looking at the crowd, like, whoa, like, I've got a job to do tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you're in Brixton uh, Electric, I think it is. Yeah. Like, you know you've got a job to do because yeah. the 
and the dance floor is just like mm, yeah, just yeah, massive yeah. and all you can just see is heads yeah. like that's what it was like that day job to do went in there job done you know what I mean I've done my thing you know what I mean but that was that was like that was the for me that's what turned my whole life around to say we, we definitely don't need these don't need headliners them. and all mm. of these guys so all of this stuff that I was talking about is true mm. we didn't need them in the first place no. and when these people were trying to tell me old change and whatever and because I had my vocal mouth mm. and got blackballed and stuff even my own peers was black, blackballing mm. me wasn't getting bookings anywhere mm. you know like so you know like big up S because he was the only man that was yeah. booking me at the time yeah. and it went on for like nearly two years I was getting a booking here and there yeah mm. I get it but nowhere as near as these years before mm. and everybody else was getting bookings everyone's yeah. getting bookings everyone's getting bookings but I was getting blackballed why for opening my mouth about something that was but don't you think that is how the scene is it's if you want to play the game you you follow the rules you listen to what everyone says you take the bullshit and then you get the bookings but I've never followed the rules but that's what it is though that's what I've noticed yeah that's what that's what I think it is like yeah. now especially with Instagram like their picture drop a comment ah. go to their rave kiss some ass might get a warm up set I understand where you're coming from because that that got introduced after and do you know what I can say yeah it's like like them man kind of brought that into it innit like like you got to realise like like obviously S Shannon, mm. all of that, where they came from, they came up in the garage world mm. where it was different, isn't it? Mm. So they brought their same same elements over to the house world. Mm. You know what I mean? And the cheekies and all of that, as I said, they follow. So mm. whatever's going on there, yeah. they're following it. Mm. So these guys kind of brought in that little culture there. Yeah. You know what I mean? The circle. Like, the circle. Come on, look, Shannon Lamar and AR, mm. when they was together, you wouldn't catch me on one of their raves. Mm. That's because one of them didn't like me. Mm. So... <laughs> well, you said you speak to one of them most days. <laughs> <So> <laughs> you ain't got to be a genius to work that one up. There you go. So, mm. because a man don't like me, yeah, mm. I can't get to play on the raves now. Was the Shannon Lamar and AR split, whatever happened, happened, yeah, yeah. do you think it was good... As a, as a business move for them to split up. Never. It was terrible, wasn't it? Terrible. Because they were really doing bits. Terrible. They were doing bits, man. Together. They were doing bits. and then But you got to know for him to actually leave yeah. or one of them to leave, yeah, big it must things. have been something 100%. very devastating. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, these even even what it was and stuff like that, these things get overlooked. Mm. Like, people will look at it for two minutes because it was all up on the Instagrams and all of this and all yeah, of that. It yeah, was, yeah. Bear stuff was up, you know what I mean? And yeah. bear me, me, whatever, this, that, the other was going around. <laughs> But people just forget about these things. Yeah. It's almost, you know, like I could do a, a Dominic Soler and go mm. and eat out some girl in the train station on the steps <laughs> and they're going to forget about that. But I bet you they won't forget about that in a year. You know what I mean? No, but they, to be fair to Soler, he doesn't get it. They don't, they, they oh, don't right. forget it. You can't <laughs> drop that one there. up there now. But I'm just saying, you could do things in this scene and just get away with it and just, you know, like... You know, like, not even face no, you know what I mean, repercussions. Mm. So, yeah, man, it's, it's, mm. it's, it's, it is what it is with this scene, you know what I mean? And as I say, it, it's like, it's like it got very clicky, yes. you know? It got yes. very clicky, and then it got to the stage where it's like, like, people like S and that, they advise me, innit? Like, you ain't got, like, what's happened to your rave? Like, be free, like, what? Yeah. Like, are you mad? Like, yeah. that's what S used to say to me. Be free New Year's. Yeah, that's what S used to say to me. Are you mad? Like, yeah. are you mad? Like, be free, like, really, really, like, and he'd just be yeah. like, ha, ha, laughing. <laughs> I love and like, 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 you know, it's just like, yeah. it? Like, oh, like, like, you know, like, a lot of people don't like him. But a, lot a lot of people don't like him. him. Do you yeah. know why people don't like him? He's successful, bruv. Yeah, yeah. He's, if top, top three, UK promoters, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who else is putting 3,000 people no, in Great Suffolk no Street one, Warehouse no. four or five times a year? No one. No one. No. Abode. Yeah. Do big events like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you literally, like, you'd never think about it. Yeah. But you put Kai and S in the same sentence, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, of course, 100%. And S was there before Kai, you know what yeah. I mean? And he's done bits, like, S has done bits, you know what I mean? And Big and, things, bro. Uh, yeah, he's done, he's done big things. What, just because he ain't done a season in IB for whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah, you're going to yeah. look at him like he's a lower brand. You know, it just looks Not like all. it just looks like like our brands take twice as much to get noticed mm. as other people. Whereas Kai, you know, you can come in off the 
anti-shuffling campaign and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, and I think to myself, like where you guys have come from was a bad, bad place. You know, mm. like it was a bad place. You yeah. know, like there was so much racism on them pages there. Yeah. It was disgusting. Yeah. You know, like I used to read it and be like, oh, if I could ever get a hold of these yeah. guys, you know what I mean? And yeah. to strangle them, you know what I mean? And then yeah. to go to like, the three three eights and stuff like that and mm. get refused on the door and yeah. all of these and all of that. It's made me look at a boat like I looked at that Bro, brand there, with hate. There's a lot of Not black, gonna lie. there's a lot of black people that look at that brand with hate. Look to the brand I, with I hate. Got one of my friends is a DJ as well. Um, you can't even mention the word about to him, bro. Mm. For what they've done to him and his friends there, it's, exactly. it's disgusting. I, you know, I don't yeah. even say it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's so, disgusting. I know it goes on. Yeah, like, that that's like, and, and that, that was partly a boat mm. and a partly 338. You can't just blame the club for that. No. You know what I mean? Because who gave them the little, you know, who gave them, who gave the door picker mm. the, the, the people to pick? Yeah. You know? It only can come from me. I don't get a door picker and they pick, and I say mm. to them, do what you want for the night. <laughs> yeah. How's that gonna work? Yeah. You know, you got you got a brief a minute. Yeah. Like this is what we want, this is what we don't want. Mm. So it's apparent that, you know, them darker skinned people that's I don't really let them in. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. not too in. many. Yeah, I was even seeing light skinned people getting refused from there. So when I thought to myself, <laughs> it's a dark skinned black thing, because yeah. that's what I'm always going to think, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Because yeah. I'm dark skinned black, yeah. so I only can speak for myself. Yeah. But then when I see light skinned guys going there with like a couple of girls and then getting turfed and that, yeah. and then I'm looking at the clothes, they might have on a little like jeans that I've got on now, a few yeah. rips and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking, they ain't looking like, that's not even like, like, that's, he doesn't even look that, you know, yeah. hood or why is he getting refused just because of the colour of his skin? So it just made me look at the whole thing like, nah, this is terrible. Like this mm. is like, this is this is absolute bullshit, yeah. really. And I just think to myself, like, what's the point in it? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of me even and for me to see yeah. is where it comes in again. DJs calling them family. Mm. DJs like, and it's not all about them or any hate for them, like, yeah. because I've got over that, innit? it? Yeah. yeah, of course. But for DJs to be calling them family, mm. DJs like, even Ellie Cox, mm. she came from her sense, you know? Yeah, I know. You do your research on Ellie Cox. I've done my research. Right. So she was not, really, not a lot of people forgotten about yeah, this. Yeah, she though. wasn't really DJing like that. She had a little little thing, little platform. Yeah. Then she went to uh, Bode and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah so yeah. she started doing her thing with a Bode yeah. and stuff like and that. And then they were probably saying, "You got to stop playing at them." They, 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 of course, they done that. That's what they done. Yeah. And it's the thing about it is when these people get to that stage and they go to this le not even it's not a level. No, it's not a level. It's not a level because. What, like what? What is it like? You play with a couple of the big boys. What's not? You think that? Yeah, you're, you know. But you're still like a. Your you know, fee goes from one hundred to four hundred. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Basically, you that's me, what it means. But their fee was going from one hundred to a grand. Uh -huh. Now, so this is the but the whole grand thing is. Don't think that that grand was for their mates. No, because it definitely fuck. No, it? Sorry. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. No. Yeah. That grand is for us. Yeah. That's us putting the weight like, yeah, yeah you want grand, yeah. you get me? Or, nah, we're not playing. Or they just refuse to play. Yeah. Like, they'll look back on us and look like, you know, like, and mm. I just think, what do you forget? Like, you play for it. Like, mm. what is so bad about this yeah. crowd that people you play forget? For? What is so bad about the people that you played for? What is so wrong with it? What, because they're black and you're white? Mm. It's crazy. Like, I don't even, like, because. As a black person, I've never been brought up to think like that. Mm. I've never been brought up like, my family is not pro-black mm. like that. You know mm. what I mean? My dad was West Indian. Yeah. My mum's born here. Mm. When people tell me, where are you from? I say, I'm from England, <laughs> yeah, yeah. London. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but where's your parents from? My mum was born here. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Where's <laughs> but, your dad from But not with your skin colour, is what they're trying yeah, to no, say. Just, where's your dad from then? Yeah. That's what they always ask. Like, there yeah. has to be some Caribbean or yeah. black. So what if, like, the kids of today, yeah. the kids of today, where's your dad born? He's born here. Mm. Oh, you're trying, so where's your nan born? She's born here. Mm. Oh, so where's your great nan? Yeah, so what do you mean? Third yeah, third generation. Easy. Why are you going to the third generation? <laughs> like, it just, it just baffles me to think, yeah. like, what is going on over colours of skin and mm. whole, like, I, I don't, I've never grown up to think about yeah. that. 
You know what I mean? I've never grown up to feel that, you know, like black and white thing. And I've mm. never, like, I've never known it. So, bro, you know? what, what does BLM mean to you, bruv? BLM means <laughs> absolutely nothing, man. It just means absolutely nothing to me, man. Because mm. you know where it is? Everything what is built on, everything what it, it, where it comes from, what it stems to, you know. And with the BLM thing, yeah, like, if you research it, mm. it's got a lot to do with uh, LBGTQ yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. all of that stuff. <clears throat> you know what I mean? And for me, yeah, that's cool. Mm. But if you can't sort out black rights in this country mm. and we still got to go through this rubbish that we go through, yeah. then don't tell me about no LGBTQ. No. Yeah? Because at the end of the day, there's rights in it, and if it's if it's all rights and it's all rights for great and all for people, mm. I'm all for it, innit? Yeah. Cool, yeah. Like each to their own, innit? I'm not like like when you back in the days and you used to you know sing Bujiban and tunes and mm. all of these things there. Yeah. We used to like have it in our head, you know. Yeah. That's one thing. Growing up in a black family, yeah. that's one thing that y y you are gonna get like yeah. you know like yeah. because that that is like when you. Jamaican and all yeah, of that, yeah, yeah. you understand? That's what they, that's how they talk. That's how they, yeah. it's raw. Mm. You understand? I'm bad, you're right, 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 right. Yeah. They ain't on it. No. You understand? So that's one thing. So growing up and having to transition myself mm. to now nah, accept in the workplace, in the in the school, mm. in the this, and I have to, I have to do all of these things. Mm. So how comes it's not been done? Even not even, it can't even, can do it on the football terraces. Mm. So how are you gonna tell me? Yeah, like you know, and I just think to myself, it's crazy. Like, how is it? It was. Uh, why is it still it was, here? It was, it's nice to hear you your know? viewpoint, bro. Because when when that that whole thing happened with George, George Floyd and everything, there was it was like a hysteria, mm. and there was a hysteria online. But I was I wanted to, to see how the online hysteria was gonna translate to real life change yeah which I, I wanted to know i was inquisitive about that but as everything continued bro this is a quote so no one can say anything to me do you know lippy lickshot he does yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro, he said the black lives matter movement was reduced to a hashtag and i thought now wow that is that is a powerful statement mm -hmm. but what's changed now it's the truth what is it it's just a, it's a hashtag. That's what I said. When you asked me the first, I said, mm. it means nothing. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything to me. Unless I can see change within the black, like, community, the black society. If, if, if they, unless I can see where it, all, all of this funding that they got, why hasn't it gotten into people making, why hasn't it gone to like, like, you know how the Prince's Trust Fund had it, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? And all of these things. Why isn't it something for black people? Mm. Because we obviously... It's, it's known that there's oppression there, mm. there's systematic racism there. It's all behind the scenes. Yeah, it's all, all going on. So if you've built up this big black group, mm. why aren't you putting it out there for the black people? Why aren't no. you helping the black people? Why aren't you putting, you know, like that money into black causes, mm. you know? But I just see that you've got an LBGTQ agenda. Mm. You don't understand? Yeah. So most of that money will probably go off into that agenda. You know what I mean? Which it does. Yeah. Of course it does. They paint in the streets. <laughs> but, but, um, the, uh, rainbows. The rainbows. Yeah, yeah. I drove around some wrong turn in the other day. Bam. Rainbows in the road and stuff yeah. like that. They've pushed this agenda mm. so much. So, how, what? So, what? So, you just think people just doing that in a football match is like, get out of here. Or fight racism every time it comes on. Fight racism. Yeah. That's not enough. You know what I mean? Like, by the time these guys get in the terraces, it's going to happen the same thing. It's just like when they was pulling down all the statues. Like, yeah. it wasn't even BLM that was pulling down the statues. It's mm. Antifa and all yeah, of these yeah, people. Yeah, these are their own people. Mm. BLM, me, I don't... Mate, I had to research who... Um, what's his name was? Like, what's his name? Who? Uh, the, 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 the guy was in... The president guy was here years ago. What's his name? Um... Winston Churchill. Oh, Churchill, yeah, yeah, sorry. I had to research yeah, yeah, Churchill, yeah, 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 yeah. When the, like, I'm not a stupid, listen, yeah. I call, not, forget about woke. 
I call yeah. myself conscious. Yeah, okay. I'm very conscious of what's yeah. going on. Listening to tunes from a long time ago, or yeah. like this tune, that tune. So I know like when I'm listening to these tunes, yeah. their messages, I'm taking the messages. Sometimes I go to a, a dictionary and read this or go yeah. to this plot quote. Yeah, I'll self-development. Read that quote from the Bible, I'll read mm. that, what it means. So exactly, I know exactly what message they're giving me through that tune. Mm. You know what I mean? So I go to the, all of these things and quotes and stuff like that and... I have to see exactly, 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 so I know what I'm dealing with. Mm. You know what I mean? And Not enough people do that, though, bro. Yeah. They're too I, quick to see something on the timeline. Yeah. Hype up, retweet it, talk about it, whatever, but they haven't really done the research. Yeah. The that's what a lot of people do. Yeah, and that's what it is, man. You, you have to do, in this day and age, you have to do research. That's all I say in it. You have to do the research what will take you to what you, your, your level of understanding mm. now, yeah, and what it is in it, yeah. And for me, that like, with the whole BLMs and all of these things here, I just don't think that, like, you know, like, like where's their protest right now? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, like, it's just... It's, yeah, that's another thing, because where's that energy now? <laughs> yeah, where's the energy gone? Like, you know what I mean? Like, where's yeah. it gone? And you know what? For it to disappear like that, it couldn't mm. have been a good thing. You know what I mean? It couldn't have been a good thing. You know what I mean? And mm. like, as I say, in it, I had to research who Winston Churchill was. Mm. So, therefore, like, there's a lot of people like me yeah, out there, mm. out there, who didn't know. There's a lot of people on the marches. You know what I mean? That don't know. You know, a lot of black people that mm. went out there. Because you got to remember, I see black people from my community mm. going to march for these BLM marches and all mm. of that. Yeah, and when they done the other march with the... Um, remember when, because the statues were getting taken yeah, down. Yeah. And this, this was a bit silly mm. because the guys that didn't even take the statues down mm. have gone to fight the war. Mm. And there's like 300, 400 of them, yeah? Yeah. And there's like 10,000 mm. people protecting the, the, um, the, the um, statues and stuff yeah. like that. You know what I mean? And for me... It just got a little bit techy now. That's mm. like, that's crazy. Like, how is 300 people going to fight a battle with 10,000 people over people being in that 10,000 as the ones that probably took down them statues? You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I just think ultimately, bro, like, as a nation, as a world, we all need love, yeah? Mm. And we have a slogan like, Black Lives Matter. That's encouraging a divide, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's encouraging division. Of course. That's encouraging hate. Like, whether you want to think about it from a white person's perspective or whether you want to think of it from a black person's perspective. And you want to, if you're black and you're screaming Black Lives Matter, well, what would that look like to some old white woman, bro, who doesn't really understand, who hasn't grown up with black people like I have? And Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's got a totally different perspective mm -hmm. of that now. This is what Chance is trying to say because her narrative is way different yeah. from somebody born 20 years after. Like, so what she thinks to be, you know, true and what she thinks to be, you know, like the way she thinks on things mm. and how she's thinking of it, it's not the truth. No, and it's not the way to, no. to get around, to yeah. get to love and unity. Yeah, of course it's not. just not, of it's just not, not that. Of course not, you know, it's like, you know, it's like with people like, you know, like Adolf Hitler, mm. They might tell you stuff about him, mm. what he done, and make him in such a bad person. Mm. But if you really research him, mm. there's certain things that he done that was good for his country. Mm. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So this is what it is, isn't it? Like, so you're always going to see the, the, the good and the bad. And obviously, mm. because... England defeated mm. them, them lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to hear that story. You're going to hear side. that side. Yeah, it's like Guy Fawkes, bro. I started looking into Guy Fawkes. Mm. I watched V for Vendetta. Have you seen that film? No, no. Beef, no. you need to see that film, up, especially right now. V for Vendetta. There's a virus controlling the world. But basically, it's like similar to Guy Fawkes, right? Mm. We get told in school Guy Fawkes was a bad man and tried to blow up the House of Parliament. No. Why yeah. did he want to blow up House of Parliament, bro? Yeah, yeah. He could see what was going on. There's a yeah, lot of going course, on. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, what's the film? Yeah, you're going to have to give it V for Vendetta. Yeah. Boy, is there anything you want to add? 
It's not on Netflix, but you can stream it somewhere. Oh, you can stream it you somewhere. You can stream it. But this has been nearly two hours. Yeah. Is it? But yeah. Right. I know it goes quick. I think we might have to do a part two because I feel like we rushed the second half of this. Yeah. But is there anything you want to add for the people? Oh, it's not really, man. Just everyone's just got to stay safe and in these times. And, yeah. you know, like if you've got problems or if you've got like any issues, you know, like with life, you know, because I, I don't like how the way that they've brought up the kids in this society to where every kid's got anxiety, every kid's oh, got yeah. depression. Everyone's depressed. Everyone's got like, you know, at that early age, you don't even know about anxiety <laughs> and depression. Let me tell you that. Yeah, yeah you understand? Like, yeah. you've just grown up in a hard life and, you, and you've probably had parents that haven't showed you in the right way mm. of how to handle life. Mm. You know, because, you know, it is our jobs as mm. parents to mm. actually give you the guidance of what you need to live life, you know? Mm. Like, my, my parents, they put us out there as youngers, you know what mm. I mean? Like, so I just feel like if anyone has any problems or any, you know, they just got to just speak to people, be kind, you know, love. Yeah. You get me? Like, you know, just like, yeah, because we're in a bad time right now. We're just mm. in a, we're in a horrible time right now. And especially for artists, and you know musicians mm. and, and there stuff was that, like that. Um, Birmingham, uh, Birmingham promoter took his own life a few weeks ago. Yeah, Obviously so he's not been able to do any. Yeah, like so. Things. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on, and it's gonna hit a lot of people hard. So mm. I just say, if anybody's suffering or anybody's going through any you know breakdown, just don't be afraid to talk to your friends, your family. Mm. You know, just 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 you know what I mean. Just just. Just be brave and just just talk to people and yeah. just yeah man just just love one another man and you know like like everyone needs to everyone needs to get along mm. especially in this house scene I was having a, having a conversation with S and the yeah. uh, Shannon earlier yeah. and like this is where there's I'll a lot of division it. right now isn't it yeah so this is how I'll end it now yeah? yeah basically I said to him back in the days I said I said to them back in the days if not back in the days, but when we were starting out, when we was coming out, why didn't we all put our heads together and say, we're going to have a festival. Mm. So one stage House of Silk, mm -hmm. one stage Audio Hall, one stage Circle, mm. one stage Be Free, mm. yeah, one stage Rise, yeah. one stage, you know what I mean? One what, stage like, House Passion. Yeah. House Passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Like, five, bra like, six Huge. brands. Yeah, it's a, it's a rap. You got ten thousand people. It's a rap all day long. It's a rap, you know. And I, I've always thought about things like this mm. on a whole to 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 bring everybody to bring you in, and for you to bring in everybody, mm. and for everyone. And that's how I first thought it was going to be in this game. I thought it was going to be love. I thought it was going to be the whole family mm. entity, everything like that. So this is what it is, isn't it? Like we know where it is now, and. People need to think how you move forward, innit? And if we ever do come back from this, mm. people just, I just hope people are thinking now that we need to move forward in that sort of way rather than move forward in the same way we was going. Definitely. You know what I mean? Because that is just, like, it's a, it's a, it's a route to failure. And I just hope everybody realises now how precious playing out and DJing is to, yeah. to, to people. Because me, for one, I'm suffering really badly, mm. but I've got decks at home, yeah. you know, so yeah. I can have a mix when I want to have a mix. Exactly. But, you know, that's, yeah, yeah so... That's got a big up really Rise and Rave, rave. big up Soiree, yeah, doing man, their big thing. Big up Soiree, big up Rise doing and Rave. Not, not going to say too much about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say you too much still, but pick them up. They're active. Pirate Subconscious, material. pirate material, yeah. loose lips, all that man there. All of that. All of that. Original. Yeah. Before lock offs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Original. Successful you know I mean? ones yeah. still. We <laughs> uh, got the so called COVID idiots. Yeah, yeah. listen, you're cool. Young. Wear your mask and that. Whatever yeah. you want to do, whatever makes you feel comfortable. I've got, I've got high blood pressure, so I'm exempt. Um, Max's house, hashtag 05, Spotify, iTunes, all of that, YouTube, coming soon. Signing out. It's good to be back. Signing out. Peace.